burning like a diesel. Welcome, everybody. It is once again time for Gray Beard's Studio. Of course, it's the greatest show on the internet. Not just the greatest draw stream, but gosh darn it, it's just the greatest show on the internet. And thank you for joining us. Uh, you had your chance. You had your chance to stick me with Atari Force, and you didn't do it. I don't know if I should be grateful or if I should be looking over my shoulder because I think something's up. But uh, today we are doing Nintendo game characters. I don't even know what that means, but I've uh, scrounged up a few possibilities. So we'll see where things lead. Let's let's bring in the crew and get this show cooking. Uh, of course, you know him. You love him. It's David Williams. There he is. David, you got a package there. You're going to show us that in a little bit, though, right? It's a That's right. That's right. mystery package. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to take a look at David's package in a little bit. Mm. <laughs> I think I just got clipped again. Hold um, on. Let me, let me measure it. <laughs> uh, dang, it's long. Oh, my gosh. And, it, and it's got girth. Oh, my it's goodness. Well, it's, it's a big package for sure. Um, let's. <laughs> I don't even know how I can segue out of this. <laughs> Uh, but let's uh, let's bring in a guy who hopefully will change the subject a little bit. It's uh, your favorite and mine, Gary Martin. There he is. Hey, Gary. Hey, mommy. I was hoping or maybe thinking you were going to say, and speaking of big packages. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to just, I was trying to get off the, the yeah, 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 I, you yeah. know, I was just trying yeah, to get I, off the I, ramp. I go. applaud you for it. I okay. <clears throat> well, today is kind of an interesting day, an unusual day, because... Believe it or not, we've had a Sasquatch sighting, and I don't think the camera's blurry. But let's take a look. Let's take a look, and welcome back, Sasquatch, to the show. It's our own Kelsey Shannon. There he is. Wait, wait, wait! wait, wait I'm, here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm I'm not. I'm not here. I'm, I was just a little late. Just a little late. Sorry. All right. Bravo, bravo, author, author. Yeah. Oh. I got my grandpa glasses and everything. I'm ready to go. Well, uh, it was a month a month ago. He was making his way to the table, tripped, fell down, knocked himself out, and is just now waking up. <laughs> <laughs> Has no idea that he's even missed anything. But, what about uh, my package? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so uh the, we have a full crew. How about that? Um so there'll be no guest guests this week. It's just going to be us, but there's plenty of us to go around. So I think everybody feels comfortable. And of course, uh, leave it to Kelsey to stir everything up by picking <laughs> video game topics. Um, I, gave you, I, gave, I gave you every chance to like, at least make him almost choose Atari Force, because like, what else is he gonna choose out of Atari Pong? I, yeah. I would have, I would have drawn Pong. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I had a great idea. I had a great idea. I was gonna have the Hulk crushing Atari Force underneath his fists, but <laughs> well, we're gonna do Nintendo instead, which um, I had to do a, a deep dive because I don't think I've ever, I never owned a video game ever in my life. What? Wow. Never. I bought some for my kids. My, you know, my my son played like Battlefront. You but know, you have a cell phone, game. right? Yeah. Then you own a video game. <laughs> <laughs> if texting is a video game, that's all I know how to play. Yeah. You probably uh, still got Snake on your flip phone. Don't I don't even you know what see. You say that. I don't even know what that means. I Every don't flip even phone know what has Snake. <laughs> like I think I maybe I played like draw poker or something on my 
phone once. I don't oh. know. Oh, oh, it all comes out now. Yeah, no, poker on your phone. I wasn't yeah. betting, I was just, you know, <laughs> a third <laughs> secret. Oh Lord. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's see who's in the chat today, and we'll get this show on the road. Uh, Coram is joining us first, all the way from Australia. You know what you get for that? Nothing. But thank you. Uh, our thanks and appreciation for joining the show. He says, "Show us some peach." What is this peach? Everybody keeps telling me to draw a peach. I don't even know what that is, other than the yeah, fruit. I don't, I don't, yeah. Princess yeah. Peach. I still. Still probably, they're talking about a rump. You know, that's it. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> right. No, I'm just. Okay. She's from Mario. Kelsey, did you have to include no the clue. hand gesture when you said rump? <laughs> oh, that's, I was talking about the peach, but yeah, yeah you're right. right. <laughs> Perfect fit, right? That's what he was. Uh, hey, Rick is is here today. He says, Rick says, this is going to be awesome, playa. Uh, we can only hope. Uh, Mark Pengren is here. He's giving me suggestions. He says, Draw, do zero suit Samus. Yeah, I that's mean, right up your alley. Yeah, it's see, basically yeah. Kit Carter. This is well, yeah. That's somebody. This is like speaking Yugoslavian. I have no idea. What I know. Uh, Kevin Thomas Thomas says Capcom's Mega Man or any Castlevania characters. Now, Mega Man's my jam. I might be yeah, doing see, yeah, I, Mega Man. I uh, inked Mega Man and Sonic for for Archie for a couple of years, so I I do that's know right. those characters. That's right. Uh, Solid Snake from Metal Gear One. Look at these guys, man. Everybody knows this stuff except me and yes, Gary. I don't, I, don't, like, I don't know what that is. No clue. Um, hey, how about that? Aniakon, uh, Aniakon, you don't see, I screwed up his name again. You, uh, you were saying it so <laughs> right behind, behind this scene. thing. Yeah, you said it right like four times backstage. I know. Aniakon, <laughs> thank you. Udofi, our guest last week, is in the chat, and I'll be sharing some of his finished work later. Oh, cool. Um, Thanks for joining us. Wesley Gleason is here. Repairman Jack Curzon. Uh, he says, wow, this is going to be a cool one with the Nintendo. Be back in 56 minutes. Okay, we'll wait for you. Uh, Neil well, Moore. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> he claims it's going to be cool, and then he leaves. Leaves for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, Dan, the pizza man Genovese is here. Um, Toshiro is here. He's Give us a killer Donkey Kong, Senor Lopez, por favor. God, you uh, should so, do like see, that a sounds... Frazetta, Frazetta style Donkey Kong or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing Donkey Kong. Oh, okay. You do a Frazetta style Donkey Kong. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I, I don't know why I'm doing it, probably because I have nothing better to do, but I am gonna, I've already got it picked out. Um, mm. Ozhead is here. Uh, Bruce. Sma Artis, glad to be able to catch the show live today. We are too. Thank you for joining us. Skull Nashers here he says, I hope Kelsey's back for this one. And indeed, he is. Uh, Henry Bemis Baby got back. Oh, yeah, Henry, Be <laughs> Henry Bemis says, Nintendo characters. Did Aaron agree to this? Uh, I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> no, uh, he didn't, but you know. <laughs> He protested much, yes. <laughs> Look at everybody is Castlevania. Everybody keeps bringing up Castlevania. I've never oh, heard of that. So that's oh, like, yeah. I'm going to have to go look at that because maybe I'll change my mind. Uh, John with no H is here. Birdman, Bird, GJ Martinez, Iodine 74, Kellraiser, uh, Tugamo Model Works is here. Jimmy Owens. Hey, Jimmy. Thanks for joining us. Gen X Catholic, of course, made it in. Uh, K39 N scene. How about Banjo and Kazooie? <laughs> Weren't they in Deliverance? Yeah. Huh? No, no, no. <laughs> deliverance. I that was Banjo that. Kazooie. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that, that was manga deliverance. Oh, <laughs> Norn, Norn Rad 2 Turbo is here. Can't wait. See, everybody thinks this is funny. They're like, they can't wait to see what I do. And it's like, <laughs> you yeah, know, well, me either. Uh, <clears throat> Duck Bacon mm. uh, is here. Nordic Nerd. Bright green pupil is joining us today. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Only seven. What's the other color? Yeah, I don't know. Storm D is here. How about that? We got a super chat already. Jimmy Owens, five dollars. Love you all, especially Aaron and Shelly. Hope she is well. She is doing quite well, Jimmy. Thank you oh, very nice. much. Appreciate that. And thank you for the five. We we all greatly appreciate it. Um, let's see. Bill Weist is here. I haven't seen Bill in a while. Thanks for joining us. Uh, let's see who else do to do, uh, got the zombie chow, bloody Drake and, uh, Linkovich Chow. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are crazy. Okay. Here it is. It's, uh, it's Linkovich Chomokovsky. Chomofsky. Chomofsky. 
Yeah, Linkovich Chamovsky. All the way sounds, from the sounds communist. All yeah, right. I know. Well, I guess <laughs> I almost got all the way from the Soviet Union, but I guess they didn't have it anymore, right? So just like Mother Russia. There you go. Killer Kovacs, of course, the grandson of Ernie Kovacs is here. Uh, Playmail. Everybody's going, who's Ernie Kovacs? Luffy is God. Yeah, Ernie is Kovacs here. Was, was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew White. Michael, ba Michael Bancroft, all the way from Australia. How about that? Uh, Paul what time, Taylor. Michael, Michael, what time is it there? Yeah, it's got to be like late. No, it's like, I think it's evening. Well, it's tomorrow, but it's like. Uh, <laughs> I think it's. Ali, is it sick? Is it either early in the morning or late in the evening? It's one of those two things, but I can't remember now. Um, Paul Taylor from Canada. I got your. Uh, the picture you sent me, I'll be using that on Sunday. So thank you very much, Paul. Uh, Birdman Burr is here. Um, let's see. Who else we got? Burr. Okay. Tippy Tail McKitty. McKitty is here. Um, Nintendo didn't put a cooling fan in the original system. It overheated a lot. That's what I'm doing right now. That's <laughs> <I'm doing>. uh, <laughs> and that's why I never played that game. That's right. That doggone stuff. Uh, the Vespa guy is here. Uh, let's see. Here. Stealth X5. Um, so Vespa guy says, welcome back, Kelsey. You were missed, bro. Thank he's, you. He's, well... He doesn't even know he was gone. Like I said, he's he's nursing that bump <laughs> on his head right now. And he's like, <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, rhetorical giblets! Rhetorical giblets is here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Thomas is here. Bright go. We already did bright green pupil quarters. Oh my gosh, I can't even say that. <laughs> what? On the uh, what can't you say? Say it. Well, because it's a uh, it's a slur against our, our Asian brothers and uh, in his what? name, so I can't say it. He might be uh, Asian. Uh, best Age Comics is here. Uh, Pastmaster Dan's joined us. Fox Mulder for twenty dollars. Oh my goodness! Thank Woo! you. The truth is out there. Second, hold on a second. Uh -oh. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> 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 See what you missed, Kelsey. The stuff you missed. Ah, the show, the show's uh, it has evolved. <laughs> I don't know if in a good way. I think he almost killed uh, himself doing that. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> I've been waiting for Kelsey's return just to tell him his Watchmen art arrived safely and to say thank you. Oh, that, you're welcome, and thank you. And thank you, uh, the other guy I, that bought art, I still have his a month later, and I found out that he literally lives down the road from me. So I need to, like, <laughs> I mean, like, seriously, I'm going to call him up and be like, can I just walk so, it over to you? I, yeah. So you can hand deliver it, yet it's taken months. <laughs> I, 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 hey. It's right, you're worse yeah. than the post office, man. Yeah. I'm, uh, <laughs> Don't, you're not alone, Kelsey. I'm in the same boat. I'll take him to lunch. I need to write. If he's watching, I'll take you to lunch. Let's go out to you eat. Better, dude, mark that down. If you're getting a free lunch from Kelsey, that doesn't happen often. It's what I'm heard anyway. I don't know firsthand. <laughs> yeah, the word ah. on the grapevine. <laughs> on the, on the grape we'll, yeah. we'll go looking for something out in the swamp. That's yeah. right, a gator meal. <laughs> That's right. He's going to go catch it, whatever he, he feeds you. But, um, mm -hmm. uh, Peter, Peter Orchard Studios is here. Um Eric Hayes is here. He says, Christ is king. Indeed, he is. Thank you for that. Uh, Michael Rushbrook is here. Uh, Robert Doan's Pills has joined us. And uh, have I got everybody? I think I think I have any late bloomers. Uh, Chris is comics, which is not quite the same as Christ is king, but it's Chris is comics. So it's kind of has that same sort of uh, bounciness to it. Um, uh, let's see here. Henry Jeremick. Um, Aaron, why don't you just pick the subject matter instead of a vote? I used to do that, and everybody said, no, it was David, everybody. David said, you know, we should take turns. And, well, there you go. So blame David. Um, <laughs> Ronan's here. Angela Curry, look at that. She said she voted for Atari, and I gave her a wrench. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the wrench can be taken away. Just I know. Silent Spirit is here. Pete Kelly. Um, Craig 69, a lot of first names there. Stealth X5, Steve Crayons is here. Uh, he says, draw sidekicks. Well, that's not a bad idea. Isn't that a comic book? I kill sidekicks. Or no, a side <laughs> <kick>. That's right, <laughs> David. 
David hates that's true. Conan. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's not a bad idea, though. It's like si famous sidekicks is one of the categories someday. Oh, yeah. Um, it would be, actually, yeah. No, Madaman is here. And uh, all right, you guys are wearing me out. There's too many names. Uh, Metal, Melt, Ma <laughs> Melt Master Fresh. Aaron is peak meat, he says. Is that a prison term? I don't think I like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Geek Avenger for five dollars. Thank you, Geek says. Whatever you need to draw, Samus Aaron or Aaron from Metroid Prime. Is that even English? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Samus from Metroid. Oh my gosh, guys! I have no idea what we're even in involved with right now. Well, Red Comics is here. Nintendo Ginger, how about that? Nintendo Ginger comes back for the Nintendo show. Uh, so how Good about man. that? Um, or, or lady, whatever. All yeah, right, the you Nintendo guys. network is formidable. Our our audience is getting so huge that I can't read everybody's name anymore in the chat. <laughs> Blue Boy Comics is here. It says, am I banned? No, of course you're not banned. Uh, we don't ban anybody. Gary might. I don't know what Gary's doing with his control. Uh, <laughs> I have nothing to do with that. All right. So we have this entire huge audience. We're over 300 right now. Expect this to keep on growing as the show goes. Um, so we're doing a little show and tell as we always do. David, you have a package that you want to open up. And uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys, here, here we go package. again. Uh, <clears throat> you have a something from the mail that you yeah. want to open share. Um, do I? Do you want me to give you a couple seconds to actually open it up? No, it up. just go full screen. All right, we're gonna watch David cut his hand. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I got this package, and it's from G Money. Oh. <laughs> I did that clicking, and I thought you were using a lighter. I go, are you gonna burn the paper off? That's gonna be good. No. <clears throat> Well, that's what I did. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Fortunately, Gary's going to have to send me another book. Uh, uh, Geek Avengers for $2 says, uh, I was a product tester for Nintendo in the early 2000s. Wow. wow. So he knows this stuff. Um, Paul Taylor suggests that the person putting the topic forward should come with samples for the others to draw to avoid situations just like this. That's right. No, that's part of the fun. Look it up, suckers. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. It's the ink art of Gary Martin. Nice. Right. This is beauty personified. Does it smell like Gary? Hold on. <laughs> let, me, let, let me go to the back. Hold on. <laughs> I rub, yeah, I rub every, oh, man. every copy uh, under my arm. So there you go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, I love the. Did you do the matte finish? Wow. Yeah. Oh, I love the matte man. finish. The quality of this is awesome. I'd like to say I started the matte finish. Now everybody's doing it. But, you know, that's okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Hold on. Do I get to read this? Well, Eric, yeah. We can all read it right now I'm anyway. Okay. Read the love yeah. letter. To one, to one of my best, 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 best should be in quotes, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and big thanks oh. for brotherly shove to do this book otherwise i'd still be pimping in the streets <laughs> thanks is spelled wrong <laughs> gary with his ebonics Get, with thanks is wrong <laughs> happen <laughs> from so I, G. yeah the, the people who asked for autographs or that was part of the campaign i didn't plan for that when i was putting the book together you know like to have a trying to write on the inside front cover with the bulk of the book pressing down on me uh, yeah problematic it was problematic oh there's d whams right there my name hawk <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can david you can read that if you want okay here we go this book is dedicated to my good friend oh man don't do this g now see he's gonna cry <laughs> come on this book is dedicated <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I can't read this on uh, right now. I can't. <laughs> wow, I'll read it. This book is dedicated to my good friend, quote unquote, uh, David Brohawk, quote unquote, Williams. Without his support and encouragement, this project may never have materialized. I can honestly say, by knowing David, I am a better human being. 
despite the fact that he still believes he can out jump me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, David does have delusional tendencies when he gets on the basketball court. So. <laughs> oh man, you got some Aaron O'Presty love over here, some Kelsey Shannon. Nice, uh, a whole bunch of a slew of people. This is awesome. Oh man, you're gonna make me cry, G. <laughs> Introductions all about David Williams. There's <clears throat> a whole book on David there. What else can we do to get him to cry? Kick him in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this wonderful book. Nice. I love I love the fact that the way you printed it, you didn't overly make it black like you could see that it's ink. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, book. I tried the, the this printer. I had some problems with, um, so the, the printing is inconsistent. Um, I love it. They couldn't do the, uh, the, the Frankenstein rights and recreation that I did. They couldn't do a fold out. So it had Aww. to be, yeah. Mm. So it had to be a, a double page spread. Oh, that stinks. Oh my goodness. Hey, there's Bruce Lee. Uh, I mean, uh, Gina. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome that you put the pencils in here in this. Oh, yeah, nice. Now, Gary removed Bruce Lee to put in Gina Carano. So yeah, yeah, yeah. taking heat for that. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting heat for that. Uh, <laughs> Wizard Sleeve says he's still waiting for my ship notification, Gary. Patient. Yeah, well, you're not. Yeah, I'm not Apple. sending out. I'm not sending out ship notifications. So no one's getting those. So you're just going to get the book. Yeah, you'll just get the book. And and Whoa. I'm going through in order of uh, oh, Dr. Doom. You know, who, I know, right? it, who backed it. That's the order that I'm going. And if you if you also ordered original art or uh, art prints, you'll be getting those after I've, I've shipped uh, all the books. Well, mine's got a din in it. I'm going to need another one. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I didn't put cardboard backing in any of the the friends and family books that I shipped out. So, so it's like, oh yeah, friends, I, quote unquote. There's a lot of yeah, quotes yeah. going on. Here. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's like disclaimers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very okay, cool. Well, is that thing. is that it? Or you got what else you got? Um, Ethan showed this on some other show, but this is uh, some cover uh, concepts that for the first fearsome. And, are you uh, and you talking about the regular series, right? Not the preview yes. book. Yes, the regular series. Now, uh, did one of those make the grade, or are you yes, still... okay. yes, um, they dismissed these two offhand. <laughs> they like this one, but they went with that's what I. That's my choice down there. Is one of this D. Really? Yeah. Okay. Got well, the another... close ups. Honestly, the close ups look like trading cards. Okay. And I think the the other one, I, I love this. There's almost like a Ditko-ish kind of uh, the background sort Gary of. Gary said the exact same I thing. I said the same thing. Yeah. That's Don't trust him. These guys love the D. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I like the A. There you uh, go. That's the one I wanted to go with, either that one or this one. And I wanted to convince uh, Ethan to do like a hologram cover where it's like completely this side of the face and then you move it and then you can see the skull appear. Or something. Okay, well, that's cool if you do that. That but... would be sweet. Yeah. Yeah. But, oh, well. So D, D is not your, wasn't one of your top picks then? No, it wasn't. Um, but it was funny when Ethan picked this, he didn't notice there was a face right here of the main character sleeping. You know? <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. Wow. You didn't notice that? No, I didn't see that. That's great. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, there's that is a really cool cover because you got you got so many elements going on there, but it's not confusing in a the sense. They're like bold elements, and then you got the main character there. I yeah, I really like that. What's gonna be cool also, because he's such a small figure, the um fearsome in his dream mode. Um, I wanted to ex accentuate him because he's so small. There's going to be like pictures of him and all these broken pieces of glass. Um, mm. Oh, that's cool. Too. All of these things have elements of what's going on in the story. So it's telling a story. I'm trying I to really like that. I think that's easily the best one. Really? Okay. Yep. Good. All right. Well, if you like it, then it's a hit. 
There you go. That's right. Because I'm uh, I'm one of those guys that you know picks uh, stars <laughs> and stuff or whatever. You know. I mean, you know, good art. You can't do good art, but you know. And you know, I know it. That's right. <laughs> as long as you know it. You know good yeah, art. I can't do it, but I know it. All right, fantastic. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to G Mommy. Oh, look at that! Whoa, this That's is a uh, commission. Um, the client was very specific. He wanted to see a uh, Iron Fist Daredevil showdown, and he wanted it in the Gil Kane style. So I just kind of took different Gil Kane elements and put them together and hand lettered all this Ugh. text. Ah, that's the so worst. Yeah. The hand lettering is the worst. The worst. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think it's he did pain. pretty good. Honestly. No, no, no. I don't mean no, to do that. I'm doing it. Please, <laughs> Kelsey, stir it up, man. <laughs> right, so, yeah, doing all that is uh, um, takes up all the time but he was he was very happy that that's that this is exactly what that looks great doing. that's very cool that's who right. is, didn't he fight spider-man in daredevil 16 um i think so yeah i think so. that was the actually the first uh drawing of um that john romita senior did of spider-man before he took over the spider-man book really <laughs> yeah is yeah it was daredevil uh, 16 because he was a regular artist on daredevil at the time yeah, I did not know that. Didn't little know trivia. That. So I shipped out all my um, art of oh. comic book inking to the people who who back that uh, tier in my campaign, and I thought I had sold all of them. It ends up I have one remaining. This is the last mint copy in, uh, with. Blue line art boards in the hey. back. Hey, it's the last one I have that's still in mint condition. I've got a couple of really rough copies, but this is the last mint one. So maybe oh, yeah. later on in the show, I'll put it up for sale. Maybe we'll do an auction. That's right. Whatever. The last uh, that's we'll do the last say like ten minutes of the show or whatever. We'll put it up for auction, and uh, um, so you guys, uh, yeah, they're already Dan the Pizza Man's like, how much you want for it, Gary? <laughs> Um, <laughs> 49 9 99 95. 99, 95. <laughs> so, okay, so you guys hang around for the end of the show because, well, that's the best part of the show anyway, right? When you get to see the finished work, but we're gonna we'll do a quick uh, auction for that book. Um, Raggedy man, <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's David Williams' aunt. <laughs> Who Did you know that, Kelsey? Oh, I thought I might have, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 Barbara right. Eden. Oh, no, what? <laughs> I thought there was something. Did you meet Uhura? Or is this? Were you joking? No, it, no, it's Uhura. What to say? Damn, son. Either that or uh, Pam Greer, or not Pam? Is it Pam Greer? Pam? No, Tina. No, who's this? Who's that? That's that's, that's Pam Greer right there. Yeah, Pam Greer. That's uh, right. I met that one there. I'm, I met her at Whole Foods. Pam, Pam Greer. Greer? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ, David, you have the uh, most amazingly weird stories of any yeah, I've ever met. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like this. That's so great. I was out hiking in the desert, and there's Pam Greer, and I'm like, yeah. "What the? Climbing <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> Mount Kilimanjaro." And... <laughs> Stan Lee was there, and I'm like, "What the heck?" There's David's I met, mom. I met I met, yeah. I met Stallone uh, horseback riding. So. Now I know that. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's right. I, I remember you told me that story. Oh my gosh! And the time he met Frankenstein at that Halloween yeah. party. <laughs> <laughs> These are all acquaintances of David. And yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, Kelsey, do you have anything other than Gary's book to? Uh, uh, yeah, um, I thought I saw you guys doing a Star Trek show, and uh, I thought of a way you guys can improve it. Um, the uh, Next Generation Technical Manual, uh, where you guys can get on the the correct page of Star Trek um, with the uh, proper science of Star Trek, right here. Which I've read all of this, sure, but I, I thought this maybe could help you. Uh, but I also wanted to show off. Uh, I got two other books in the mail um, at the floor wow. and Hogzilla, which I colored this cover actually uh, Ooh, over nice. Matt Walden. That That's a fun. great cover. It is. Yeah, yeah. nice yeah, color too. Fun. But the artwork's great. Like he, he just has a real natural flow to like everything. Mm -hmm. 
I can only uh, imagine what say my book would look like, or you you'd colored it. Uh, cool. Yeah, me too. Uh, I actually I started over, but I, I'll, I'll get there. <laughs> now, I also got black and white. I've been waiting for this for a while, and it, it so far it doesn't fail. So I'm looking forward to like digging into this one. Arts wow. of Wait a minute, man. I'm look confused. It's 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 in color. It's black and white. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it should say was black and white. You know. Now <laughs> in color. <laughs> no, but Art, yeah, he's did an excellent, excellent yeah. job on this. I'm looking forward to like and really you can digging see in. See the work in this, man. Yeah, yeah, right. Nice stuff. Yeah, I think I got a few other ones too, but I, I was looking around. I couldn't really. I, I got my place is a mess at the moment, so I was gonna pull out my. Uh, I have this uh, retro Nintendo. <laughs> oh my uh, goodness! That a is friend that of mine sent to me. I might just draw the system. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> but I had I have one game with this and it's a Batman game. And I was gonna I was gonna oh, show uh dude, David's dude, uh, see now you know what David's gonna draw now that you're you, you yeah. thank you. I'm He's gonna draw it uh you know video game style, whatever that means. That's uh, right. It's Batman as a Nintendo character. Yeah, a little chibi block character. Yep. <laughs> All right, we've got over 400 people watching right now. You guys uh, please hit the like and subscribe if you don't mind. Helps the channel continue to grow uh so we can bring you more quality can I, can quality I entertainment. Can I show um, just one more thing real quick? Yeah. <clears throat> Gotta go full screen. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Speaking of Star Trek, this oh, was my oh, wedding. Oh, is that your aunt? Piece. Who is that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. aunt. Another one of his aunts. <laughs> so that, that was my winning piece from last week. So. Very, oh, I'm oh. sorry, what? You heard it's me. Not a, it's not a competition, my friend. It's not a and, competition. Uh, Y'all did Star Trek? Yeah. And, it, and it's, on, it, it's, 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 it's on sale, by the way. So let me know. That's right. You uh, have a thing for those green Orion slave girls. Oh, that's cool. What's this? Yeah, what is this for? Oh, nice. I don't know. I was, I was just drawing that. Remember that scene in the uh, first uh, Superman book where Superman goes up to Lois and he goes, uh, uh, you need not be afraid of me. I won't harm you. They made it scary, but I wanted to make it nice and stuff like she's on a balcony and he's going to give her a rose. And she's she's like, that's boring. I want a guy to scare the crap out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, uh, I do too. That's, that's great. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, that is awesome. So, yeah, someday uh, it'll be in public domain and we'll get our... Uh, that's right. That's what I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm chipping away at it. I'll have a full story that I'll just throw all on. There. <laughs> this is what I always wanted to say with the character. Now eat it, DC. <laughs> uh, quite, a, quite a few uh, comments for David here. It says, uh, <clears throat> GJ Martinez says, wow, your colors pop, David. Uh, Bloody Drake says, I love it. Uh, rhetoric, rhetorical giblets says, Orion Slave Girl... Um, let's see. Kevin Thomas says you captured Kirk's horniness for Emerald Women. Well, <laughs> <laughs> people are digging the Superman. Okay, so um, I'm going to share. Well, real quickly, I did just a little bit of touch up work on my piece last week, and so that was the winning piece from last week. Uh, uh, well, it's not a competition. Oh, that, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's right. I got confused for a minute. Um, <laughs> So wow. there you go. You get, Is that you get Star Picard? Trek? Yeah, don't you? You got to watch the show, man. Original series. That's I the, have. I've never seen Picard. Has never come up against this thing. I, wait I, a minute. That's not the original series. Picard is an original a, series. What? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, that's what we got to, and the the hot chick that uh, has the juju brute that heals Kirk and then controls him with her uh, yeah. her curve. Well, you get you get points off for those giant croissant like nipples. <laughs> I'm looking really hard. I don't see no nipples. It's a fur. Oh, oh, that. Oh, okay. I see. There you go. Yeah, Old Track's got some honeys, man. I need to watch some old. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Kelsey. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna watch every episode tonight. He's gonna yeah. like scream the whole thing. Up. I'm gonna need uh, timestamps for. Uh, no, it's good. <laughs> okay, so uh, our guest, um, the Neocon, <laughs> there you go. Uh, 
he first of all he did this and i was supposed to show this last week and i forgot so i'm going to do it now he did a kit carter piece uh oh whoa um, wow <laughs> holy smokes don't you feel like that should be like a black light poster yeah oh yeah yeah wow so here you go i got the space beer and look at that signature man i love that signature Dude, I, I i put that on my ceiling over my bed yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have to take down raquel welch put her yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> all right raquel uh, <laughs> so, anyway, I, I like how he like modified the guns a little bit and made them look better than mine thanks a lot <laughs> don't you dare redraw it so uh, you have like three ahead. pages you gotta, already yeah you've got to go in and redraw all your all your guns. Oh, that's gosh. why i don't want anybody drawing my characters because i'll see yeah. something and i'll be like damn it <laughs> like, why didn't i think of that <laughs> okay, and uh, here's his piece from last week, the Gorn. And you guys remember that's what he was working on. Oh yeah, let me see. And there it is. Wow, Ooh, smack, dude. Wow. Ooh. As he said with his pizza tunic on, he has a pepperoni pizza tunic, <laughs> which had never dawned on me until he said that. And then I was like, of course, yes. He's just As like the uh, the little pizza monster from um, the lunch pizza monster from Devil in the Dark episode that. Uh, that rock creature that carved through walls looked like a little pizza. And now you've got the Gorn wearing a pizza uniform. There's, there seems to be this sort of pepperoni pizza uh, <laughs> subtext to Star Trek that I was completely unaware of. Um, as, as I approve Jackson, of the splatter, though. I, I like yeah, that. it's splatter all over the place. Look at that. As Sam Jackson would say, that boy got talent. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm waiting for this to show up and like be a, like a... 15 foot tall mural someplace in Washington, DC. I know, right? <clears throat> Look at that uh Alex Nino uh uh drop shadow. Like oh I'm, yeah, oh yeah, it's all like yeah, it's like <laughs> it, it almost it, like yeah, it's rocking and rolling through the cracks and right. bumping the rocks. It's very yeah. cool. All yeah. right, so there you go. Very that nice. was uh that was fifth place last week, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't because I care. Um, all right. Now this is this is <clears throat> this is something entirely different. But this is actually kind of a little shout out to Gary. Um, those of you who, um, well, let me show it first here. Um, I'm not. I can't play the sound. So um, let me mute, let me mute that. This sob thing better. Oh, okay. It's up here. Duh. I'm so stupid. Uh, there we go. Okay. This guy, he has a thing on YouTube. He's like this blue collar guy that, that takes like the most disgusting foods like frozen pizza and different things and makes them into like this quickie meal that's probably the most unhealthy thing you've ever seen. But you're kind of going, I bet that tastes pretty good. It's called, uh, I think it's called Odd Food. Oh, what's it called? Odd Food Recipes. Yes, I think that's what it is. Odd mm. Food Recipes. But anyway, so it's on Instagram. So I want to give him credit. But here you go. And you'll see why. Yeah. <laughs> so he takes the corn oh dog, my wraps it in bacon, air fries uh, it. He's got my heart. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Yeah. Right. Right. Takes it. Okay, that's all my sauce. Put some queso sauce, some French fries. Oh. Puts, puts his corn dog in there with bacon. More uh, crinkle fries. More queso. This guy. He and likes he it. It. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's that's uh that's he a heart it. seizure burrito. But it's not one, there's three of them. He's eating all three of these. <laughs> He's so oh, man. He, he fried it. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, he cuts it in half so you can see the cross section here. Mm -hmm. oh. Good. There you go, folks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I gotta all. try that. That's Aaron, awesome. Aaron's all I'll bite it. <laughs> man, what kind of cheese sauce? Yeah, so there you go. Yeah. So it's the uh it's all about the corn dog here on uh Graybeard Studio. <laughs> <laughs> See what you saw? I saw that recipe immediately and I went, I gotta show that on the show because <laughs> for Gary's sake. Um I gotta take go. my blood pressure medicine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gordon Goodbrother says. Slow death. Yeah. <laughs> the way to go, right? The only yeah. way to go. Yeah. yeah. Um, Kevin Thomas says this is fine dining state fair food class. That's what the guy says in his video. He goes, this is something you should find at a state fair. 
they have uh, stuff like that at the Ren Fair too, like the Renaissance Fair. They'd have like uh, the the Scotch egg, which is like a hard boiled egg wrapped in bacon and all kinds of stuff, and like dipped in something and fried in something. Oh, so good. it was so good with that honey mead mm -mm -mm. dipped and it's fried and it's. Well, I, we've talked about it before that they they use uh, they, at these southern fairs that they will take cubes of butter and deep fry them. And people eat these butter yeah. sticks that are deep fried. And it's like, oh, oh that's gross. I, yeah, I don't know. Well, Renaissance fairs have great uh, uh, food. Yeah. Vendors, so like you can get uh, mutton and, and you know, gnaw oh. on it and then chuck the bone over your shoulder, you know. And <laughs> <laughs> and hit, hit the yeah. guy behind you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right. All right. Here we go. So, um, David, what are you drawing? I already told you. Donkey Kong. Okay. Oh, Donkey Kong. All right. Uh, Kelsey, what did you have in mind? <laughs> Donkey well, Kong. Um, uh, I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about like some, some of my favorite games. Of course, uh, Mario uh, Brothers, uh, Super Mario Brothers is like my favorite game. I could still play that from beginning to end right now. It's still like such a great game to play. But uh, I also played the crap out of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Uh, but I didn't see anybody mention that. Oh. But and the other favorite is Mega Man. I love Mega Man, and I also watched that cartoon, Captain N and the Game Master. I was thinking about doing a thing with them, but I think Nintendo hates that show. <laughs> I I don't even know what you're talking about. Everything you said, I know. Here, my, let me I, show you my sketchbook. I'll uh, I got a <laughs> drawing. Hold on, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I haven't drawn in it yet, but. <laughs> I was thinking about sending this out to everybody to give me a sketch. <laughs> it's like, hey, were you drawing my sketchbook? And, uh, I got a nice leather bound. Does that include like this little, little tiny? Thing? <laughs> yeah, you can like tight, you can like wrap it up. Is that what you mean? Oh, no, I don't um, have a tiny. I'm actually looking for like the biggest pencil I can find, and I'm going to send that with it so that they. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching an episode of Gulliver's Travels right yeah, now. Yeah, my mind went the opposite way. I thought you became a giant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know That's if uh yeah, you could yeah, you could draw small. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'd have to have a really sharp pencil. I don't know how you sign it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> like nothing except that oh, I, I just dropped my pen and made this mark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, look for this in the mail a, soon. I'm gonna give it get you guys to draw something. <laughs> you don't have enough room above him to write anything clever. It's just like one word. Well, you might have to do like write it on one side and draw it on the other. Yeah, oh well, never mind. Actually, yeah. it came you, through. You, uh, you didn't use a blotting <laughs> paper either. <laughs> my mom got this for me, and she was like, I know you hate people getting stuff for you, but I thought I was like, Oh my god, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Tiny little sketchbook. All right. I, I just so I cool. just looked up I just looked up Castlevania and well, it's manga. Cool. There's no way am I doing manga. <laughs> it's manga, it's sword and sorcery. It's manga. Fighting vampires. Manga. Well, you can you don't have to draw it in the, the same style. You can do Aaron right. Presti it's version. The source material, man. It's killing me. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to do today's drawing in this, by the way. I should be done in, like, uh, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. So, so, Aaron, do you not like it, uh, uh, Adam Warren? You don't like his work? That's that's uh, American manga. It's the American part he likes. Yeah, I like yeah. the American part of it, yes. See, that's exactly now it. I'm thinking. <laughs> you got me thinking things about you, Aaron. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to do uh, Crash Vandalay. <laughs> it's art bandicoot Get oh. it right is that what it is i don't know <laughs> oh, i really don't know what to do uh let me look in the chat what do you guys got metal gear solid but that's just a dude with a bandana and some guns wait what was that guy you said earlier the what's that that blue boy with the rocket on his hand or big giant gun, what's his name? Well, no, it's a, a Samus is a, a lady. She's a, no, 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 a no. Metroid. No, no, huh? no. He's like an Astro Boy. What was that one? Oh, guy? Mega Man. Mega, like Mega Man? Man? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's Nintendo? Yeah. Okay. I, might I think so. Him. Wait a minute. 
What, what were you going to do? Donkey Kong. All right, fine. I'll do Donkey Kong then. <laughs> no, I'm going to do both. That's what I'm saying. What? what? <laughs> hey, leave the rest of us something. Come on. <laughs> Zelda, Kid Icarus, Capcom versus... I can't draw all of Capcom. They got too many great things. <laughs> <laughs> That's like uh, Capcom. Oh, Mega wait, Man Capcom? is Capcom. Is that well? No, Cap Capcom's a company that did uh, Mega Man. They did what? Street Fighter. Um, oh, Street I Fighter. Can't... What's Nintendo? That's it's Nintendo. It's. That's a, a game system. Here, let me no, show I you. know that. I'm saying, is okay. Mega Man a part of Nintendo? <laughs> See, <laughs> I think so. Oh my gosh, man! This is your idea. Yeah. We don't even know what's going on. Oh, Mega Man is not Nintendo, uh, but yeah, okay. I play it on Nintendo. Don't didn't don't we? <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness! Look, I, look, I, I played Nintendo when it first came out, and we had Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, and Zelda: The The Adventures of Link. The very it was like a gold cartridge. Played the crap out of it, and then I didn't play another video game until uh, PlayStation Three. I went over to my friend's house and they were playing Grand Theft Auto and I saw them pull a guy out of a car and steal his car and I was like, holy crap! I went out and bought one like right away. I, I thought that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> Games have gone far! Well, I did play Laser Shoot Larry, but that was on the computer. No response. Nobody knows what I'm talking, I about. What you're talking about. I have no freaking clue what you're talking about. The only <laughs> games I like are Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man, uh, <laughs> Pong. No, those are all arcade. I played those while I was doing my laundry at the arcade. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> and, and, uh, what what was the one? Uh, shoot, uh, is the fighting game? Uh, no, Mortal was, Kombat, Soul Calibur. Oh, Soul Calibur. I, nice. I love Soul Calibur, but no, that was the jump. I went from all the way from those '80s arcades games all the way to Soul Calibur in. Everything in between, I didn't care about. <laughs> I was shocked that they didn't pick. I see some like talking in there about Sega. Uh, I lost it already, but uh, Sega. I was shocked that because Sega has got rabid fans, especially for like the Mega Drive, which is like the first one, I think. Um, but they have uh, another one of Gary's favorites, Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm sure you're a whiz at drawing that guy now, right? Like. <laughs> Star did, Fox. Well, Gary might be a whiz at it, but he's not drawing. So, how no, did, I was hoping he'd did, help me out. But. How did Google know I was going to type in Donkey Donkey Kong when I just typed in D O? <laughs> uh, apparently, you're doing it before. No, I never said a dragon. Like, that's crazy. Double dragon Contra. The Contra is just two guys with a gun flipping around. I, I played a lot of Contra on the Nintendo. Back in the day, Contra is that like Contra Ban? Is that kind of the uh... no, like I ran Contra? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I can't remember the story of why it was called that, but it is, it is uh named after the I ran Contra because that was all in the news when that came out. I don't even know what that means. What the hell is I ran Contra? It's I ran, and what is Contra? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I know, but I know Contra the video game. Um, and I'm, I don't know how how I would illustrate that. Uh, was it Double Dragon that had the great? There was like a painting from Double Dragon that had like uh, a guy, and he had like he was up on like a roof or something, and he had like a girl. He was hanging on to a girl, and and her like skirt was kind of like ripped. What was that? It was in like it was it was a it was an ad that was in tons of comic books. Uh, I used to stare at those rip uh, skirt. <laughs> when I, was, <laughs> I was like, "This is hot. This is so sexy. I think I play this game." Uh -huh. <laughs> that was Double Dragon Two. Ah, I just look looked up, up uh, Iran Contra. It's a venereal disease. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is double dragon 2 hold on you gotta share this cover i'll show you what i'm talking about hang on let me uh let me pull this up 
Hey, for once, you guys are you're like uh, wasting all the time, and I'm just like uh, burning through this. I'm gonna color this today. I can. Feel what are you it. drawing, Pac-Man? What are you doing? No, I'm drawing a, a Crash Crash Bandicoot. Bandicoot. Oh, you don't even know what it is. <laughs> is he a dog? Is he a like? What is he? <laughs> He's you know, a Bandicoot. He knows what? Yeah. You know what he kind of reminds me of? You know those? Uh, when we were kids. Well, I guess when I was a kid, you guys weren't kids, but. Gary will know. Sure. Uh, the um, you, they they did those like um, crazy cards. They were like gum set cards, you know. But they would be like baseball players, but they were all like freaky and weird, and and um, like their eyes bulging. And that's what this character reminds me of. Is like one of those. Uh, you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. No. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I remember. Eric, and could you um, pull up my screen, please? Oh, oh wait. You pull the mice. We're in trouble now. Oh, that's there you uh, go. one of the covers I did for for Archie. Why that wasn't was awesome. this in your book? Because <laughs> it's not black <laughs> and white. Yeah, that's did cool. You color it too? No. Oh. All right. So what is the? Yeah. Look at the Double Dragon Two: The Revenge. I don't know what they get in revenge for. They kicked butt in the first one. So. No, wait a minute. That says a claim down at the bottom. Wasn't that like a claim comics or something? Well, no, Acclaim was a video game uh, uh, manufacturer or whatever. Yeah, but but didn't they, they, they didn't they buy? Um, didn't Acclaim buy the uh, not? Just who, look at the ripped skirt. Don't worry about Acclaim. Look at the, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're thinking too much. Didn't Acclaim, didn't Acclaim buy Valiant? Come on, you guys. I think that. they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I think it's the same. Uh, I want to say it's the same company, actually. So yeah. maybe. And so, but that's the only time I'd ever heard of them. Not from the video games. I had no idea. It's like, who's the claim? And they're like, oh, it's the video that's, game company. I'm like, oh. I, I'm hearing super chats on the on the. Oh yeah, I it. thought someone was using their uh, pencil sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like this. Uh, okay. Yeah, definitely different. Um, Zade Comics, of course, that's Phil Diaz, also known as Merv the Astro Chimp, for five dollars. Says Crash Bandicoot isn't Nintendo. Do some research, boomers. Neither is Mega Man or Castlevania. Kirby, Mario, Zelda, Link, Donkey Dong, Donkey Dong. Tell Kelsey I said hi. Hey, <laughs> I looked up Nintendo and Crash uh, Bandalink showed up. But <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's Crash Bandalink. That's a whole other game, oh, Aaron. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, carbon dioxide for two dollars. Let's see a cool Earthworm Jim Crash is PlayStation. Is Earthworm Jim Nintendo? I thought that was Sega. Oh my gosh. We, there's so much confusion. Cancel the show. I <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to look that up. Wait Earthworm minute, Jim. I, I already drew him. And you're telling me I can't draw him now? Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, so I just wasted time drawing something I don't care yep. about to find Sorry, out what I don't care about now. I love it. Earthworm Jim, because uh, I remember always wanting to play this game. It was for Sega Genesis. Oh, and the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Do we get? I thought we were just doing early first run. Well, no, there was no games. specification on. Uh, I got to look up Crash Bandicoot to see. But, <laughs> <laughs> That's the porn version. But Bandicoot. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's Crash. Uh, Brandicoot. Uh, what are we doing, Nintendo? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Zombie uh, Cow says, Graybeard's living up to their name by only having pre-pong video game knowledge. <laughs> um, no, it says here that uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, is the insane trilogy from Nintendo. Oh, Okay. So he might not have started at Nintendo, but we believe he made it uh, over there. We believe everything we hear on the yeah. internet. So well, there's lots of pictures of it to prove it. <laughs> um, Ninja Turtles was on. Wasn't that on? Uh, didn't they have that on Nintendo? I'm just gonna go and do Batman. Kelsey, yeah. you realize the show's been on for for an hour and you haven't started drawing yet. I guarantee I'll still finish for these. <laughs> 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 We shall yeah, see. yeah, but 
this Aaron point. talked for 45 minutes of that hour, so. <laughs> <laughs> Let it cover for you guys. Um, All right. What uh, I'm looking in the uh, Atari Forces Nintendo. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Uh, all right. I'm just gonna go with my one. I love Mega Man, uh, but that's not Nintendo, from what I that's hear. That's not Nintendo. So. Yeah. But I could have sworn I played that on. Nintendo. Some people Maybe are saying it is. So people see. There's not even. No one even who, knows anymore. Who are these some people? I think they're trying to throw us under the bus. Well, that was back in the old west of video games, where right. it was just the old whatever. West. Yeah. <laughs> Capcom. Uh, let's see. Original, original game released from the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1987. There it is. Boom. See, Phil doesn't know what he's talking about. He, see, he works at a video game like Emporium, and he's giving us wrong information. He wasn't born until the Xbox came out. That's true. And that was like, what, 10 years ago? How old is he? No, last <laughs> night. <laughs> Bright green pupil is wondering uh, what David is drawing. Donkey Kong. Are the no Mega Man in there? No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Sorry. What's uh? What the hell's Mega Man look like? <laughs> I thought you were like, oh, he's my favorite. What's that guy look like? He's got a bunch of different versions. He's got like four hundred different versions. I I'm gonna make sure I'm doing the right one. Yeah, they're all uh, different versions. <clears throat> I want to do like the that. very very first one. Like Crash yeah, Brandy Lot or whatever. Crash cra what? <laughs> Crash Bandaloft? No, I said Brandy Lot. Isn't that what it is? Crash Bancroft? All right. I I uh, inked Mega Man for two years. I'm you know, sorry. Two years of my life. I can't get back. Well, now. <laughs> That was uh, who who published those? Archie. Really? Yeah, and then they messed around and, and lost the license. I assume <laughs> you're, you're doing that for two years. They must have sold pretty well. Um, yeah, every single time they they sent me uh, pencils, I was surprised. Every month, <laughs> <laughs> you're still publishing this? <laughs> yeah, that. That and Sonic was massive. Oh, Sonic Archie. was very popular, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they got lots of angry letters for every little thing they did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had to had to send stuff to uh, Capcom to get okayed, and boy, were they ruthless. There's too yeah, much they, dirt on Mega Man's face. <laughs> dirt. Uh, uh, and he was he was fighting Pigman in the uh is Pigman one of their characters? Pigman? <laughs> <laughs> Banda pig. Banda no, no. pig or whatever. All right. I'm uh I'm almost done. I have to do a second one now. Hey, you gotta paint it. Oh that's right. <laughs> You're over there talking all this smack. <laughs> hey, I'm just telling you that uh I can cartoon really quickly when I have to do like you know Warner Brothers type stuff, things like that. Yeah, you it's are. like Aaron is minutes away from inking. Actually, I've already started. <laughs> That's ink right there, and I'm gonna. Okay. All right. I just wanted to get a little bit more push out of his eyeballs, exaggerate him a little bit more. I'm looking at this character, going, you know, it'd be better if they did it this way. All right, I'll be done in a second. Hang on. Are you working in your little book? No, <laughs> no, I should though. Now I'm saving that for you. You'll expect that in the mail. Yeah, I'll expect that with all the other stuff you're sending me, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I will. Yeah, someday. until you find oh wait a minute, Aaron lives right down the road from me. I'll just watch. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that would make it everybody move closer to me and you'll get things a lot faster. Well, within within a couple months. <laughs> so can we go around and clarify once and for all what everybody's drawing? There's a lot of new uh, people in the chat. I am. Oh, go ahead, David. I'm doing Donkey Kong. 
I'm yeah. draw, drawing Mega Mega Strike, Me, Mega Bancroft. I mean, Me, Mega Mind, Mega Man, Mega Mind. David, David, <laughs> did you say Donkey Dong? Donkey Dong. I, I said <laughs> Donkey Long. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's. I'm sorry, but that's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I was like David. Oh, hold on. Let, let me try out a new noisemaker here. Uh -oh. That's way better. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> uh, Robert the Bruce for nine ninety nine. Then. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate that very much. Who's the hairy guy in Dan Lawless's seat? Just kidding, Kelsey. So glad to see you back. Rohawk was getting tired of winning. Oh, my gosh. It's not the same without you. Kick some beard. I don't recall one freaking episode where David won. So you need to get your facts straight before you no, come. Hey, Robert DeBruce, I have to correct you on something. <clears throat> David never gets tired of winning. That's right. <laughs> and might I say, when has Dan Wallace ever grown a beard? The guy is still like 12 years old, even though he's 50. Yeah. <laughs> I know I had to ask his mom if he could come on last time. <laughs> Can Dan come out and play? <laughs> Not until he's done with his chores. <laughs> I don't know why his mom is from New York. I don't know. <laughs> you made his mom sound like she's Cindy Lauper. Yeah. <laughs> I know you just want to have fun on, but you know, you can't until your work is done. <laughs> All right. I think I'm done done penciling. Let me uh move into some quick ink in here. I don't know if I got him right. Hope there's no Mega Man Nazis out there. So, <laughs> so there's there is a uh, a sci-fi festival at our or the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry at their uh, they have a big uh, what do you call those gigantic theaters? What are they called? Uh, theaters. Well, no, <laughs> the big Me screen. megaplexes or whatever. I don't know. Oh, the, 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 the IMAX. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Aaron, straighten your dentures before you speak. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "You know the thing." <laughs> Hellraiser, where can I get my hands on a soupy sales? Whistle. I'd love to get one of those. Is that what? Didn't aren't those used to be a thing, right? Those little kind of yeah. joke whistles or like soupy sales used to like. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to get one of those. And he's That's not the one you were blowing. No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not soup. Not that he was blowing soupy. I'm just mean like what's a, never mind. What's a soupy sales whistle? I mean, what is that? Do you remember soupy sales? He was the most I, unfunniest comedian I've ever seen in my I've life. I've heard the name. Yeah. <laughs> See the guy that that always had like the he had like a checkered jacket and a, like a ticket in his no. hat or something? No. Yeah, he was no. like he was like a you're, poor man's Jerry Lewis. You're trying to conflate him with uh Chuck Barris. <laughs> oh Chuck let me see. Let me look him up. Stoopy oh my sales. gosh, Chuck Barris. I watched yeah. there was a lot of reruns of stuff when I was watching TV. Oh no, I've never seen this guy. So I like the sales, if I recall, like the was in black and white. That's how yeah. old it was. He had a big I, bow tie. I like the Soupy Sales episode when there's this thing where he would see people behind this door and stuff like that. And he could only see, he could totally see them, but we could see their face. And this one lady came out and she was butt naked. And he what? was trying, yeah. She was trying, he was trying not to act as if she was, but he was so flush and embarrassed and stuff. But the audience couldn't see it, and the people who were watching TV, but the truth was, is she was naked. Uh, I think and we need to, was like, uh, yeah, this is a, a kid show. Yeah, the truth is something else. Here, share my screen. Oh, share wait, my screen real quick. I remember that being a that uh, episode being a thing, yeah. 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 All right, here we go. Yeah, he was all there embarrassed, he was he? Yeah. Look at this guy. I don't know. 
seems like he's up to no good with it, like with his puppets. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that bit hand of Bigfoot right there. It's like, is that what that is? I don't know. They didn't have <laughs> Bigfoot back then. Wasn't it called Bear? Dude, yeah. you, you're asking me. Scary. I have no idea. Don't lie. What is what is this? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It was, it was a hippo. <laughs> it's, it's, no, it's it's a pig hippo. Yeah, it's a pig. This guy's, this guy's famous with stuff like this. And we're trying <laughs> to. We're trying way too hard, guys. I mean, <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness. Uh, All right. All right. Let me ink this real quick. Where poor are you man's guys? captain's kangaroo. They say. So. Oh, okay. LSD nightmares says carbon dioxide, and he would know. He was before Captain Kangaroo. I watched Captain Kangaroo. I do remember that. Yeah, Soupy Sales was before Captain Kangaroo. Uh, Paulus Art says, uh, looks like a Triumph, the insult comic dog. That's uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't doubt if he wasn't inspired by the Soupy Soto show. Oh, maybe. All right. Can't talk. Eating. I mean, uh, <laughs> inking. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, Kelsey's uh, catching up already. And he just started five minutes ago. <laughs> Cheating. Um, Cheating? What did I... This is actual drawing. I don't have no, my. You didn't even draw anything. You're just like thinking like blank paper and going, man, I hope this turns into something. <laughs> oh, no, Aaron, you messed up. Start again. Uh, well, I apparently, according to Phil Diaz, I messed up by even picking the character. But <laughs> <laughs> While you uh, guys are drawing, I was talking to my brother the other day, and he reminded me of, of, of a story that I haven't told. Okay. That's, that's what we're here for, Gary, is your corn dog tales. <laughs> um, probably post college age. Um, my brother and I would do just, you know, weird stuff together. And we, we like came what? up with these um, clubs that we used to fight each other with. We'd take, um, you know, it's like the math club made cutoffs. Then you have the loose uh, pant legs left over. Well, we'd tie one end at the pant leg and then stuff it with rags and, and, and old socks and then, you know, about halfway and then tie it off. And you could whirl them around your head, you know, like nunchucks and, and have a formidable <laughs> club. So we used to, you know, fight each other with those. And for some reason... And I, I'm trying to rack my brain. I can't remember, but we named them <laughs> Vernon named and Virgil. <laughs> Who? Vernon and Virgil were the names yeah. of these, of these uh, clubs. <clears throat> so um, my brother had a, a friend. Uh, her name was Karen. And she worked at an ice cream parlor. And a mutual friend of of my brother and I, is, my brother's name is Chris, um, would always go down to where she worked and and just make a nuisance of himself. <laughs> and so she called Chris and said, you know, can you do anything about this? Because he's really bugging me. Now, apparently, <laughs> apparently <laughs> um, <clears throat> for the sake of the story, um, this guy, uh, his name is Rich. So, you know, just for the sake of the story. Okay. So Rich was going down there every time, you know, she was working at night and, and just, you know, because he was sweet on her and he didn't know really how to win her affection. So he would just punch know, her in the her. face a lot. Or, you know, <laughs> he, he was <laughs> sweet, be irritating. He was sweet on her and didn't know how to yeah. win her affections. Are we watching like the Waltons or something? What is yeah. that? Yeah. Um, you know. So one night um, she called Chris and said, hey, Rich is down here, you know, acting like an idiot. Is there anything you could do? So Chris and I got uh, Vernon Verge and we went down <laughs> to this ice cream store. And from the outside, looking in the window, it looked like the store was empty. We could All we could see was Rich uh, bothering uh, Karen. And... So we donned our uh, ski masks 
Oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we we ran into the store and grabbed Rich and pulled him, you know, to the uh, the dining room area. And there was like this back enclave full of tables and chairs filled with people eating ice cream. Oh. <laughs> So at that point we were committed, you know, and we, we uh, pulled Rich down, you know, to the floor and start started wailing on him with with Vern and Verge, and the thumping was just was very satisfying. So we were probably <laughs> thumping on him longer than we should have until we heard like this old lady cry out. Would somebody help him? <laughs> <laughs> and that's when we realized that, you know, maybe we had, had gone too far. And so then we, we took off. And, and I thought it would energize you to punch him even more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. We kind of looked at each other and, and we, you know, made a hasty retreat, legged it out of there. And, and to this day, uh, my brother and I deny that uh, we were the ones that. Uh, <laughs> Burn and verged well, him. You, you now, can't deny did it. Any the girl, know it was you guys. <laughs> Pardon me. Did the girl know it was you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She did because she she's the one that that called Chris and said, you know, rescue me. I'm gonna have so, to clip um, this. So apparently, you guys, hey, wait a minute, Gary. You guys, you know what you should have done was after you did that and took off. You guys should have had a change of clothes and then come walk back in by yourselves without the mask <laughs> yeah. on and go. Yeah, what happened yeah, here? Where yeah, is he? Hold on. <laughs> so apparently, uh, Rich uh, never returned, and so we accomplished our mission. Saved, <laughs> saved the damsel. Oh my goodness! Yeah. So okay. that's like Donkey Kong. Yeah. Job done. <laughs> Pretty mission much. Yeah. I was waiting for the corn dog to work its way into this. <laughs> I, had, I hadn't thought yeah, of uh, the corn dog up his ass. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, I hadn't thought of Vern and Verge in in in, in years. I wonder what happened to him. <laughs> uh, right. Still writing wrongs out there, I guess. So. Yeah. You're almost like you're almost like a superhero, a crime fighting duo. That's right. Michael Bancroft is asking, what's the statute of limitations and some <laughs> <Some> ass whooping? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I may have, yeah. I'm gonna get a knock on my door. Yeah, the cops are showing me. Did you assault some teenager back in uh uh, 18 by four. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, when when Moses Fat Tony says him. a sound stuffed trouser thumping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it was. Uh, <laughs> all right. So as I, I gave him a good trouser thumping, <laughs> you'll never forget it. <laughs> See, yeah. that'll never forget. Yeah, <laughs> I get a trouser thumping, you'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you a trouser thumping, you'll never forget. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh my goodness! My trouser thumping. <laughs> yeah. I don't teach him. <laughs> I want to see you around here again. See, I can't believe I brought that. Yeah, yeah, just please don't trouser thump me. Yeah, yeah. Back here you know. again, kid. You'll get a trouser thump, and you'll never forget. <laughs> I won't forget too. this one. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> all right. So seriously, uh, <laughs> yeah. There's at the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry, known as OMSI, around here. They're having a two-month-long science fiction film festival in their IMAX theater. And so you, they're like every couple days, they're like showing different films or in the evenings, right? In the afternoons and evenings on the weekends. So the thing from another world, of course, the Carpenter version Will be uh, showing here. I think it's this weekend. I'm going to go see it. Ooh, that is gigantic that's a, screen format. Wow. Oh, that movie is like primed for the big screen. It's got those like great wide angle lens shots and stuff. Oh, mm. no, the special effects are so gross. They'll even be better. Uh, that that movie still gets me. Like, I'm not usually like scared, and I'm not 
not that I'm scared of that movie, but it still gives me like an uneasy feeling. Uh, especially when uh, who was the the old guy in it? Was it a Wilbur Lloyd? Bradley? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. The the skinny guy that had the gun. He was the cop. Oh, the cop. Uh, uh, what is that guy's name? Famous Lloyd character. something, right? I thought it was Lloyd something. Not Lloyd Bridges, but um, oh, I can't remember. Chat would know. What do you got, Chat? Lloyd Bandercoot, I think, was his Lloyd, name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that there's a moment in that where he's kind of freaking out because he doesn't have he doesn't have the you know anything in his head to to compare what's happening. Donald so, Moffat was his name. Oh, okay. That he sold me like the last time I saw that and he was kind of I felt sorry for him cuz I'm like he doesn't it's like here's a guy that's probably never read science fiction in his life. There's <clears> no <throat> basis for anything that he's dealing with right now. All he sees is his friends turning into crazies and like so he's having this whole other experience you know, than, than we are as the, the viewer. I don't know. I, I just got this whole other storyline in my head from that guy, from this one moment in the movie. Well, yeah, when he gives his gun up, because he goes, I'm not up for it. He gives it to McCready or yeah. uh, somebody else. And McCready takes the gun. He's like, yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not up for it. You know? But McCready was from the beginning when he poured his whiskey in his check chest machine. He's like, cheating bitch. <laughs> 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 I love the uh, McCready's great. Do you think uh do you think McCready was the uh at the end? Do you think uh did you have any thoughts of like who the uh spoilers of who the no, um, I you know when I first saw it that didn't even the childs happen. who do you think it who I do you never think? thought it was McCready because I don't think we were apart from him long enough for it to be him. Well there is one point. Um well oh, he blows the remember. monster up, so he blows him up, he certainly could not be the thing. Why would he destroy himself? Do you so think the th hold on. Do you think the thing is smart enough to destroy its own to to, to divert? It's you know building I mean? a spaceship. It, it has to be smart enough to like deal with some yokels in a you know trap in a. Well, <laughs> that is one of the theories was that McCready was the thing and that that he killed the other thing to kind of make it you know take suspicion off of him or something i don't know it's, i don't know i like the idea that it's it's mccready and childs at the end neither one of them are the thing they've they've managed to eliminate it or it's gone off and hibernated again but it's just them but they have the paranoia on such a level that they're not gonna let each other go and they're just gonna sit there and freeze to death yeah that's and kind they won't go asleep in front of one another right <laughs> that's kind of what my takeaway when the first time I saw it was that neither one of them was because I thought I thought Charles was it was too obvious if he was the thing, right? Right. Um, but the way they ended it though, you know, you that last moment when I was watching it for the first time, I was like, where are they going with this? And then they just kind of left it open like that. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was either one of them. Is that That's I true. think. The, the the thing could have overpowered either one of them in their situation if they knew that they were the last, if the other person was the last. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there would be no there'd be no reason for mystery. Why wouldn't the I mean there, if McCready's not the thing and he's sitting there, all he's got is a bottle of whiskey and nothing else, mm -hmm. then Childs would have just taken him over. Exactly. Yeah, and does the I, thing drink whiskey? I mean, maybe that's a tell right there, too. <laughs> Alien loves whiskey. No, well, but here's the thing. Uh, pardon the expression. Um, <laughs> Carpenter <laughs> said in an interview, they asked, I can't remember who it was now, Had that was interviewing him and asked him about it, and he said, yeah, there's definitely an answer. You know, we definitely knew or know who's the thing at the end of the movie. Oh. He wouldn't tell, right? But then they, the same guy had Kurt Russell on, and Kurt Russell goes, "Who's so full of you know what?" He goes, "That we did had no idea." <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I don't know what to believe at this point. <laughs> Somehow I believe uh, Kurt Russell. Actually, <laughs> yeah. like, he seems like he'd be down there. We didn't know what the hell we were doing. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, see, I bet it's one of those things where, you know, if Carpenter's kind of come come to a conclusion in his mind, it wasn't something he came to a conclusion at during the filming. It was like, you thought about it for years and went, yeah, I think we'll make so-and-so, you know, the thing, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, like, uh, uh, what's his name in Blade Runner, you know? Yes, I have always intended on him being a replicant, you know, Deckard. Yeah, I was, no. yeah. No, there's no way. I mean, Sean Young was for sure, right? Yeah. Are we going to go down that rabbit hole? Well, I don't know. It seems like we're going to... What else are we going to talk about? Nintendo? <laughs> we don't know crap about it. <laughs> I mean, we're already there, Gary. So it's Kelsey, uh, Coran, Kaiser Stone in the chat. Hey. Uh, he hey. says, uh, you should put the faint head of Dr. Robert Nick behind oh, Mega. Damn. I should. That sounds like work. But it might be too late. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like work. The fact yeah. that Robert the fact DeBruce that... says, have you or someone you know been injured by a cannonball while watching Graveyard Studio? <laughs> <laughs> you may be entitled to one time settlement. Call 1-800-BROHAWK-WINS. <laughs> 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 Oh. We, need, we need to get a fake lawyer commercial on here for that because you've been injured. Dang art show chasers. Yeah. <laughs> Get Paul Newman. Oh, wait a minute. He's not alive anymore. <laughs> that was a great movie. Did you ever see The Verdict? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. That was his Academy Award, in my opinion. He gave it to Gandhi that year. But that Paul Newman's performance in that movie was absolutely stupid, Gandhi. Well, Gandhi, <laughs> stupid Gandhi, Gandhi what do you with, his, do? with his peace and whatnot. <laughs> uh, now, Richard Attenborough, man, he or, he directed that. I don't know if that won Best Picture though, did he? It did. Oh, it did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, uh, <coughs> what's his face? Uh, ben Kingsley, right? Gandhi. Yep. He'd be canceled today for that role. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> I just thought I just thought it was kind of a ripoff because guys never win the Academy Award for the performance they should win it for, uh, except well Brando for Godfather that was deserving. But um, the uh, I'm sure there's others, but it was like Paul Newman should have won it for that, and then he ended up giving it to him for The Color of Money, which I don't even think that's a great film to be honest. No, I, yeah, I agree. His performance is okay, but it's nothing like, wow, that was really great. There's obviously right. a makeup award for not giving it to him for the verdict, which they should have. I own Color of Money, and I've still not watched it. I've seen the Scorsese like redo the sequel, basically. Or uh, how do you this, own it and not have watched it? Well, because I got there was like a two pack, I think, of like the uh, ah, Scorsese one and the and then and the original Bob. one with. Um, Who's the guy who plays the – oh, Color of Money is the Scorsese one. Yeah, Color what, of Money is like the sequel to uh, The Hustler. Hustler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Paul Newman is playing the – Same um, character, but just an older version in the – Yeah, but who was the uh, the Jackie, old guy? Jackie Gleason. Gleason, yeah. yeah. To the moon, yeah. Alice! <laughs> I'll tell you, apparently, apparently, Gleason was a, a really good uh, pool player. Oh, I I believe that. Well, I'm done. Play. I'm done. By the way, I don't know if you guys are done. Yeah. Well, you were going to color it, weren't you? Oh, that's true. Okay. Never um, mind. wasn't he Minnesota fat in that movie? Yeah. <laughs> well, he was Minnesota fat. That's he was in yep. Minnesota, and he was fat. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you a Jackie Gleason story. Here you go. He knows Jackie Gleason too. Did you meet him? I, well, I I did not. Oh, okay. I did not. Meet him. But <clears throat> my mom used to be uh, one of the uh, uh, girls at uh, MGM Grand. You know the Vegas girls that wore the outfits and they had the the big oh, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And all that. Um, that's how I was able to go see the Jackson Five like seven times when they had a oh, kind of a residency there and. Um, it was like right when uh, uh, Elvis finished and he was like introducing the Jacksons there and all that kind of stuff. Well, anyway, um, Jackie Gleason used to um, frequent the MGM brand and stuff. And 
he spotted my mom. <laughs> um, so Jackie yeah. Gleason's your real father now, is what you're yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> to the moon, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was he was hitting on my mom, but he said something <laughs> to her about her being like uh, something about her being like brown sugars. <laughs> oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I was hitting on her and stuff. Oh my gosh, that was that was crazy. Oh, so your sugar. mom was in the entertainment business, thus the connection with uh, Michelle Nichols, right? Was that her sister? No, no. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I <laughs> <laughs> so just blew that whole thing up in the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, so uh, wait, wait hmm? a minute. Is Michelle Nichols? Is that your dad's sister then? No, it's oh. my my stepbrother's uh, aunt. So okay. uh, I have a stepbrother. Okay. And so through him, and so that's how I would be related. Okay. All right. And Did you finish? That's how I got to go to her birthday parties because they would always be at okay. her her sister's house and stuff like that. And okay. Crazy. Yeah. So, did your mom uh, hook up with a Jackie Gleason or what? <laughs> yeah, don't leave us hanging. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying he, 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 he liked the brown sugar. That's all. Yeah. I like. <laughs> that was the point of the story. <laughs> I, so. <laughs> uh, Aaron Dan Genovese says that's a great drawing of a PlayStation character. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, do I? Okay. Um, is Pong? That's not Nintendo. That's Atari, right? Well, they, it doing. was on Nintendo also. Really? How, how would you illustrate Pong? I kind of got to see this. A couple I'm guys playing ping cool. pong. I'm gonna complain about this, but I I, I want to make sure the next drawing I do is an actual. Uh, what do you mean next drawing? You ain't doing no next drawing. Well, people are, you know, they're criticizing. Kelsey's already painting, and you said you were going to paint yours. <laughs> I know, but I'm feeling like uh, people are uh, suggesting. Well, you read, you read that it was uh, Nintendo. Right? I did. I read it right there. It they were right. trying to tell me Mega Man wasn't Nintendo, but I read it in Wikipedia, and Wikipedia is never wrong. They aren't. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Every time you go to Wikipedia and they like ask you for money, I just laugh. Laugh yeah. at your faces. <laughs> I'll use it and not pay you. How do you like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I went in there and tried that. They screwed something up on my thing, and I was going to go up in there and update it, and they, I couldn't. And I was like, what the heck? I thought you could go in and update. But we got those no. little special people that do that, I guess. Um, I, I miss Neil Orr's question. He's wondering, uh, what's the time situation? I feel. Holy crap. Um, now he's in on he's it. Drawing, he's drawing along, and he's seeing your guys' progress. And he wants to know how much time is left. Uh, at least thirty minutes. <laughs> that's a, that's what Aaron needs anyway. <laughs> but no, no, I'm looking at. The, I'm actually looking at the clock. Oh, okay. <laughs> clock watchers. Uh, when are you guys going to be done? I want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there are people in the chat that that participate artistically and draw along, and so that's they, true. you know. I wonder if they're drawing non Nintendo characters as well. No, they probably know a lot more than we do about this. Say <laughs> that that's for certain. I'm only drawing. I draw Mega Man because I mean he was on that Nintendo show. There was a Saturday morning cartoon show, the uh, Captain N and the Game Master, and mm -hmm. uh, it had um, wait the Captain what the Game Captain, Master Captain N. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, it was a very racy time, and we were a lot freer back then. You know, to... yeah. <laughs> Captain N word. <laughs> well, he he ended up with the princess at the end. You know, there you, go. you go in, you don't. No, I'm right. As long as he didn't end up with the queen. <laughs> uh, Aaron, I think uh, Queen Mickey is asking for it, so you uh -oh. may want to get the cannon queen ready. Mickey. Hey, I gotta give okay, I gotta give Queen Mickey. I don't know if you guys saw the show. I gotta give her a shout out. She had the best April Fool's joke. Yeah, um, I I, uh, I was disappointed that it was an April Fool's. Joke. 
<laughs> what well, was it? Was the it the nudes? Because I was also yeah, just no. it was the nudes, <laughs> and uh, I guess the people that went there it was like there was nothing there, and it was like jokes on you. I, I was did not cruel. hit the link, of course, because you know. <laughs> but um, apparently, some guys did, and were either were very disappointed or, <laughs> or thought it was funny. Okay, so where's the Queen Mickey that needs some? Uh, it's, uh, just scroll up just a little bit. You're sure oh, my this screen show, oh, this show is going probably. downhill fast. Oh. That one, yeah. Well, let's see. Queen Mickey says this show is going downhill fast. Last week's terrible Star Trek stream. Now Lopez is drawing Crash Bandicoot, which is a PlayStation character. Um, here, catch this. Um, so, <clears throat> Mickey, uh, I just went <laughs> on Google and Nintendo released a Crash Bandicoodle. Um, game <laughs> so therefore <clears throat> it's now nintendo crash bandicoodle yeah. <laughs> Whatever the name oh there mickey yeah, there. in the south he's known as crash bandicooter <laughs> oh. <laughs> cooter brown cooter brown all right uh, yeah, well done. Colors here. oh you haven't started coloring yet Oh, I've yeah. never used my gouache. Maybe I should use my gouache. I'll go ahead and use the gouache. Why not? Yeah, Holbein right there. Scan with transparency app. What does that mean? Okay, so I got all these. Uh, these look like cheapo Kelsey paints. <laughs> oh, Holbein, so they're good. Well, Holbein's pretty good. So, are they... all right. I don't want to color this. Damn it. <laughs> Let's get some markers yeah, out. You have a half David, quit drawing on 11 by 17. When are you going to learn your lesson? Got it. Uh, uh, 25 minutes. What do you. Uh, Just what because do you I do don't want to color it doesn't mean I'm not going to. Oh, okay. I got to find some clean water. I'm if using water I just put ink in. Uh, yeah, it still works. Using that piss water. <laughs> water? I guess that well his your swamp water is brown. It's probably yeah. it adds a nice patina. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, buddy, I'm using my drinking water now. I just gotta make sure I don't drink this later. <laughs> Have you ever done that? I've ever almost did? done it. I've I did. almost caught myself. <laughs> David did apparently. I have too. Uh, I've done even worse. I put cigarette butts out in an old oh, Coke can. Wow. And then I had my Coke sitting right next to it. Yeah, <laughs> please, please end the story now. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was a kid, I had a whole fistful of uh, cigarette butts from the ashtray, and I was munching down on them. Too. Oh. <laughs> it was a dirty child. And a dirty adult. Just like... Uh... Just like grandma used to make. Yeah, <laughs> she did. There were her cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's this? Oh, I, oh, I didn't even see that. I'm going to wow. have to pull out the gouache, too. This is... Uh... Aaron, you just, you just burned five minutes getting your colors ready. It's five minutes that I don't need. Okay. 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 I'm seeing he's got little nuances in his color scheme here that I'm just now noticing. What? In Crash Hudahaze or whatever his name is. <laughs> <laughs> he's orange, isn't he? Just like a oh, or yellow. Got, he's got like a lighter underbelly kind of thing, and it's not just like one color. So uh, you, you know, should have went with this Samus. <laughs> you should have went with Metroid. <laughs> What the? <laughs> Daniel for five bucks. Thank you, Daniel. He says, have you guys seen Katsua Tirada's concept art for Zelda? Something about them. They're great. Uh, uh, I don't know who Katsua Tirada is. I would, get, I would guess Kelsey knows. Yeah, you'd probably like his art, actually. I'm sure I wouldn't. Look him up real quick. Oh, oh I see what you're doing. <laughs> Why? I want to see some uh, Tirada artwork. I've got a color Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> Which, did you say Vandahoot? <laughs> I, I really like that name. I don't know. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, 
Vanda Hoot. I like that. That's like Kelsey's neighbor, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right down the block. What are you up to, Vanda Hoot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Vanda Hoot always up to no good. Vanda Hoot versus the Shamans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have never used gouache before, so here we go. What? what? Seriously? What? No, I've never used it before. This is not a great time to start. No, it isn't. <laughs> you, Aaron, you do realize that, that gouache is uh, opaque? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> this will be fun. So I got some more time then. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, no. You guys, this is going to be so something. That uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, now we're all terrified. Aaron's <laughs> about to be so something. something. <laughs> but you know, I've watched. No, I've actually watched a couple of painting videos on uh, gouache, and uh, they like to use words like you know you can reactivate it with water. That's like very <laughs> yeah. technical. I like that. You can reactivate it. That means you're going to screw up a lot. It's a very nice way to say when you try to go over something you've already done and it bleeds all over the place. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's it's fixable as opposed to watercolor. No, I, I'm feeling comfortable. I feel uh, I feel very comfortable. All right. Go it's honestly it. why I use it on this show a lot because I could just, all my crappy inking, I could just cover it over it with the gouache. Exactly. And that's what Crash would want you to do. <laughs> that's what I did on that uh, Mooka uh, commission. Is I, it's it's mostly watercolor, but I I did some quick fixes with with the magic gouache. Magic gouache. I. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, why? Yeah. <laughs> what, you you were saying you what? No, no, no. I'm just uh, you know. Yeah. Just get the feel for it. Just don't uh, color on the ink line. Why? Look at you guys. It's no different than using acrylics, except you can still reactivate it, right? So it's like, you know, come on. Sure. <laughs> Man, this is turning out super yellow on my uh, screen. It's very bright, yeah. And it's not in real life. <laughs> it's weird. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, here we go. Uh, Leg kick for two dollars, and Aaron loses. <laughs> <laughs> you paid two bucks for that. There you go. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was worth it. <laughs> it's worth every dollar. Yep. Um. Let's see. All right, you guys. We had over five hundred people watching this fiasco, so please <laughs> hit the like and subscribe and help us present more of this stuff in weeks to come. <laughs> Yeah, what's what's next? Uh, uh, the Shadow, the Batman, uh, Frazetta. What other crap do you guys always repeat over and over and over? What's next? <laughs> Come on, give us some challenges. Oh Endless God. Bourgeoisie says, that looks like a really awesome model sheet for a Hanna-Barbera version of Donkey Kong. <laughs> Thank you. It's like Thank Toast you. did uh, Donkey Kong. I wonder if he, I wonder if he and Toth ever played a video game. <laughs> yeah, you know what they no, <laughs> with his attitude, absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> He's the only artist that's more crotchety than me. <laughs> yeah, uh, Nikki says Lopez is like my mom. To her, every video game is called Nintendo. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. It's like when. You know, people like in the South, I think there's, there, well, I don't know if it's South or North, but there, there's definitely uh, people that I've met up North that say soda. But down here, at least we've, all, at least everybody I've known, we just call everything. A, a, yeah, I think that's an East Coast thing. Where we'll call, call it just Coke. Like everything is Coke. Yeah. Oh. Coke. <laughs> it's in New York that they do the same thing. It's, it's soda. Yeah. I just give me Coke. What yeah. kind? Uh, Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> Coke Sprite. <laughs> we used to call it pop. That's what pop. Oh, yeah. pop. Yeah, 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 that's another one. Pop. Yeah, California was pop. Yeah. <clears throat> Domsky says, uh, you just say drink. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what black folks say. I won't drink. <laughs> Give me drink. <laughs> Give me drink. <laughs> drink or die. Um no, they say uh oh gosh, I was that blew that joke. I forgot what I was uh <laughs> Yeah. What was that little Rascals episode with the uh, the the Aborigine guy? Oh, uh, the, the racist Yama? episode. Yeah, yeah. Yama, what do you call it? Uh, what did who call what? When he when he wanted something to eat, he would call it yum yum. Or was he'd it say yum yum eat him up. That's what yeah, he'd say. That's all he could say. <laughs> yum yum. Yeah, you ruined canceled. that joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're getting canceled, not for the racism, but for the terrible joke telling. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing we cannot tolerate on this show. Um, <laughs> did you guys see that uh, recently? Uh, I saw the post today, but I don't know if it was posted today or earlier. But uh, Jason Fabok and um, Jeff uh, Johns and then some other guys that are involved in it, like their comic company, their books are out today, the first wave of books or something. Are they good? People still make comic books. Yeah. No, I don't know. I haven't. I don't. I don't have. I, I guess they're in comic shops. I'm not sure. Um, but they. I know they started this like a while back, and I was just like, my goodness, everybody is becoming a self publisher now. That's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, you got competition out there now, Aaron. Well, can they keep it up? And and can they? You know how expensive that operation's got to be with just those guys alone? I mean, I know, that right? is, they're going to have to be making tons of money and good luck. Well, and the problem is, of course, that they're, if they're selling through comic shops, they're not, you know, when we do crowdfunding, we're getting 100%, less the fees, of course. Um, I hope they're good, though. I'm not like uh, throwing shade. Like, I, you know, we need some good comic books out there, especially yeah, in the indie. Uh, I mean, field. Jeff Johns wrote all three of the books, and then you've got, uh, dang, who are the other two guys? Uh, oh, Gary Frank was one of them. Oh, nice. And Jason Fabek, and I can't remember who the other ones were, or the other guy was. But, you know, it sounds like they, you know, they should be good. Are I don't know are? the Jason Fabek. I'm not sure I'm familiar yeah, with him. I don't know who that is. He He's kind of, David Finchie. Oh, okay. Uh, but worked at. Uh... <laughs> what? What are you giggling at? <laughs> Finchie, David Finchie. Who's Finchie. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Finchie. Yeah, Go come ahead. on, Gary. Jeez, man. <laughs> Cut me some. He's kind of. He's kind of. Kelsey Shannony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That works pretty good. Thank you, Aaron the Presty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, it doesn't work with everybody, but you know, yeah. Finchy kind of that sounds okay. Well, yeah. Everybody, e. before the moment passes, Mickey wants to know, uh, David, do you drink purple or red? <laughs> oh. Purple. <laughs> purple. You like your purple drink? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to make this next sound like a duck. I'm I still need practice. No, I'm sorry. Uh, that, that was terrible. That was awful. I, I, I gotta work, work on it. My life. Um awful. Fox Mulder for 10 bucks. Thank you, Fox, again. How would someone go about arranging a commission from Gary? It wouldn't be for a while, at least not until after I attempt to purchase more of Aaron's original art. I'm glad he has his priorities. Great. <laughs> um, but Gary, how would he how would Fox Mulder get in touch with you? So he's complimenting me and insulting me at the same time. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> Probably. Uh ink art at earthlink.net. That's my work uh email. Ink art at earthlink.net. I'm trying really hard to ruin this. Um, you I always work. I hope missed. it's working. Uh, oh, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I want to put him in shadow to ruin it. Well, I mean, I'm trying, like, uh, I want to put him in shadow and just edge well, light. You're doing, but I'm you're doing too, layers, right? I'm too scared to just go over it with a dark. Yeah, yeah I'm like, really, it's making me well, nervous. No, I mean, you're. All right, screw layers, it. Let's just so, do it. So far, so good. Let's just go for it. 
Yeah, if you're trying to ruin it, so far so good. But yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go for it. I can always pull the color back with gouache. Yeah, uh, Vespa guy, Earthlink. That's what I said. <laughs> Do you think Earthlink? He, he's, he was like, Earthlink does that still exist? During the Pony Express. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've had that for a long time. Yeah. I'm an Earthlink guy, too. I'm on AOL. So. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, David's got an AOL account. I can't believe you still got an AOL account. <clears throat> Last man standing. Yeah, the company ain't even around anymore. They're just this one email. <laughs> That's it. it's, it's just David's emails keeping yeah. the flow. <laughs> yeah, he gets all the AOL mail too now. That's all, all just goes to David. <laughs> uh, I just the guy to give you an update. I'm, I'm getting, yeah. getting close to shipping. Your stack of stuff. The Vespa guy went went nuts with my campaign. Ooh, he's getting he's getting a lot of stuff, but it's it, it's coming. I see you on my list, so hang in there. Well, if he bought a lot of stuff, he should have been. Yeah, he did. It's like a whole, a whole page. I just I kept seeing his name. And was he doing? He puts it off till last because he's like, I don't want to deal with this. Save the best for last. Right? Well, I'm, I'm I'm doing it in the order of um, <laughs> when they were back. No, that's that's fair. It's good and practical. Good practical way to do it. Well, you know, Shelly's like, she goes, you know, we should start from the Z's and go to the A's next time. That way, you know, the Z people get theirs first. And I'm like, who the Z people? <laughs> Z. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like that sounds people. like an excellent name for a science fiction story. The Z people. Yeah, um, but I was like, look, it, it doesn't matter where you start. Someone's going to be first and someone's going to be last. You can't avoid it. Like this show every week. <laughs> <laughs> In Vinci guys, is, am I pronouncing that correctly? In Vinci guys, is asking what, what my campaign was. That's the you see the beginning of the show. It's just my art book. <sighs> Having yeah, trouble? Paper, yeah, this paper is not very conducive to watercolor. It looks like it's buckling. Oh, big time. Should use a little gouache. Mine's buckling a lot. You just got to roll with it, baby. Look at look at it. It's. Oh wow! <laughs> I think you well, probably hold on a second. Neil Orr says I'm going to change my name in the uh, on the Kit Carter campaign to Aaron Ardvark. <laughs> I see. So you're like in the A's. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it means you get so first. Get first. first. Uh, oh. Ooh. Keep up. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I'm no. <laughs> I'm not actually watching the show. I'm playing Minecraft over here, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a Nintendo? No. no. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. I don't honestly. Yeah, according, I don't know. Uh, according to this, everything's Nintendo. I, I would like to try one of the. They have a Nintendo Switch, I think, is the new big thing. And from what I hear, you can play any game they've ever done uh, on this one handheld game system. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, so I'm kind of curious to check that out. Yeah, There's I'm, a lot of games I never did play. I'm, I'm curious, too. Are you really? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Ah, that's yeah, it was just that, like, really? Harry's interested in something I'm doing? Oh, no. <laughs> Mickey, I have not shipped out all my books. I still have quite a few to go, and I, I will have uh, extras. And until that OnlyFans is a thing, it ain't coming either. <laughs> no, I was kidding. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Henry Bemis is saying, somewhere in Chicago, Phil Diaz is gritting his teeth at your video game ignorance. Uh, I'm just saying, hey, if it's on the internet, it must be true. Yeah, I'm calling his ignorance. Wait a minute. He wasn't even alive when this stuff came out. <laughs> That's right. Kevin Thomas says, I'll change my name to Art Adams to make Aaron send extra stuff. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. well, <laughs> I'd be pretty stunned if Art Adams ordered one of my books. Uh, although I know him fairly well, I just wouldn't expect him to be. Uh, but he's cheap, right? Is that what you're saying? No, I, you know, oh. I don't know. He he's a ginger. Really, no, he made fun of me for asking. And you know who liked one of my posts? Who? Animal this Warren. is a test. Uh, I had to look it up. Oh, no, finish your story. Go ahead. Michelle, no. Michelle Nichols. No, <laughs> no it, it was. It was Mike, yeah, from the grave. <laughs> uh, Michael Uslan liked uh, one of my posts on Facebook. Oh, crazy. Really? You know who that is? Yes. He's that guy who did that stuff. He's the guy, the guy yeah. that did the best <laughs> Batman movie, the 1989 Batman movie. That's... He did, he did, he's the producer on all of those Batman. If it wasn't oh, for true. Michael Uslan, yeah. I. I'd give him credit for even jumpstarting Marvel stuff. <laughs> so all yeah, of this basically. stuff, even animation, the things that we've seen that are. He, yeah, he was like he a big fan. His dog, right? Like, you know, back in the day. determination to get a serious total fanboy. He I mean, was like he one of those guys who went to the uh, early. course on comic books. All right, you both talked at the same time. Yeah, want... yeah crash course. What were we saying? Crash course in comics. Yeah, David. Oh, I said, uh, he he created a crash course in college about oh. comics that was he gave uh, students uh, credits, you know, and it got the attention of Stan Lee. And th I think this was in the seventies, and he was so determined. His life goal was to create have a Batman movie, a, a serious Batman movie made. And he got it, um, and he's he the producer it. on all of the Batman movies. How did he? I mean, did he? Does he still? Does he have the rights to it or something? Or how did he work that gig where he's like the the producer? Well, because at the time they didn't care, you know, and they didn't know oh. what they had, so that's how he was able to finagle have getting the rights to be able to do it. Hey, man, the things we could have gotten that's away so with back in the day. If only we know, had a right? foresight, right, to know that, hey, we could make movies yeah. someday out of uh, this crap. I mean, it's genius. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there was a time that Stan Lee, this was before, like, the whole TV series, was was really hustling Hollywood to get, right, right. you know, stuff done. And, and they, you know, absolutely didn't take them seriously. <laughs> you got those funny well, little uh, cartoons that they made. Yeah. I, which well, I because love. of the, the yeah, that Hulk TV show um, and what some producer said to Stan while he was, while they were making that, they said, oh, you know, we could technically could do anything we want with this character and create other characters from it. And <clears throat> from that point on, Stan... Uh, he said we could do a female version, and the person didn't do it. And Stan went back to Marvel and told his writers, "We need to create a female version of Hulk, <laughs> you know, and we need a female version of Captain Marvel, and all of these things in Spider Woman." And that's when the all of those characters sprung forth because of some Hollywood idiot almost putting a threat in Stan's head, you know. <laughs> He's like, oh, "Okay, we got to do this before they do it." Yeah. Um, yeah. ba, 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 ba. Oh, so he, you're, okay, wait a minute. So you're saying that this guy was saying that they would have stolen they, it because they own the rights to it. Do they could spin it off and do like female Hulk? Or yeah, they could make up their own version that oh, where right. Marvel doesn't get a percentage. And it's all oh, no, this, yeah. is this has nothing to do with the Hulk. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah so good, that's good hustle, Stan. Stan yeah, Stan was just like, uh uh, <laughs> yeah, good for him, man. That's they would have too. And there would have been nothing. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. We wouldn't have gotten the She-Hulk that we got today. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> uh, Aaron Henry Bemis is asking if you or I are attending the Washington State Summer Com. I have not been invited. Uh, neither have I. I even contacted them, and they they have not responded. So, no. you interested in going to one in Dallas? 
Uh, There's like some Texas shows coming up. I was thinking about going to one a while ago. It was actually kind of fun, but I'm not. Uh, it's in June. Texas in June is very like comfy yeah. and cool, yeah. and you yeah. love it. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to go to that. Uh oh. Okay. What was the slappy part of it? Um, leg kick for another two. Aaron, don't crash your bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> I am elevating the bandicoot right now to a different level. It's gone from uh, PlayStation all the way to Nintendo with the work I'm doing. Bill is... Is that an upgrade? I thought it would have been the other way around. <laughs> Well, Nintendo. How much time do we got? Oh, all the time in the world. Till till Aaron's done. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost done. Not really. Um, what do you mean you're almost done? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what do you mean you're almost done? You're almost done with one color. I don't need any lip from you, Gary. <laughs> Get that here, please. That's true. You don't need it, Hold but you're going to get it anyway. <laughs> what are you on the phone? Yo, man. How's it going? Is Kelsey still in He's on the show, and we're live right now. You're on speakerphone. What did you, what'd you say? <laughs> you can joke about Kelsey, yes, he can. Oh, man, wait, Kelsey, where the hell are you, man? We've been trying to get in touch with you for a while. Who's this? Can you hear that, Kevin? Is that Kevin? Can you? Yeah. No, it's not Kevin. It's Larry. Oh, no kidding? <laughs> I was trying to get in touch with y'all. I thought y'all blew me off. <laughs> he said he was trying to get in touch with you, and you blew him off. I didn't say I that mean, exactly. Wait a minute. <laughs> David's starting crap. You, Hang on. What did you say, Kelsey? Say it again. I said David's starting crap. I didn't say that. He <laughs> said I'm starting crap. He didn't say that. <laughs> I, know, I know he didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> Troublemaker. <laughs> well, it's good to know he's still around. So, but we need to tell him, tell him we need to speak to him at some point. You heard that, Kelsey? Uh, yeah. I'll give did you, you a couple months or so. No, <laughs> he said he'll give you. <laughs> he just said he'll, he'll give you a call in a couple months. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, this is getting awkward. Get off the phone. Yeah. All right, I gotta go. I'm live. I'm live. He said, we're, get we're on here and right draw. Now, so we're, he said, get on here and draw. Um, he wants you to get on here. And draw. Huh? What show is it? It's Graybeards. <laughs> I'll call you back. Uh, 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 <laughs> Graybeards, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> got five minutes to finish the piece. <laughs> Russian, yeah, I, yeah. There's so that was strolling. Yeah, I don't know what that. Yes. I don't. I don't want to say what the news is. I don't know if it's been talked about yet. So. Oh yes, it's it all over the place. Oh, it is. Go ahead. So go ahead. Yes. Oh, yeah. You mean about tribe? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. About they... who? About what? About about Strowman. What about him? Oh, I thought you had some news. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know if the news is out, so I'm not going to spill the beans. So if you're saying the news is out, you tell them. They're going to do tribe. tribe. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> you spoke to come on my show, and then they, I don't know, I contacted them, tried to get them back in touch with them and the the guy that contacted me for him never got back to me so i don't know well that's what happened to me last so we're spilling the beans here that's i, I wrote wondering what was going on and then uh never heard anything and so i just kind of moved on yeah, it's so all I, over uh instagram that they're doing it so oh well okay they asked if i would color it and i'm like hell yeah you know i was all about it so i'm glad that that's still a thing um, you know, I got plenty of time. I'm not doing anything right now. Well, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like not doing anything important. Between Kelsey's <laughs> and Aaron. Just... 
Well, I told you he fell and hit his head, and so he's forgetting. Yeah, okay. stuff, I think. So you were giving him a. Oh, am I busy already? Yeah. Well, for a little bit more. I, think. <laughs> I got you. I've, I've done at least three pages. Hey, don't worry. I'm. Oh, <laughs> now you're worse than me. It's like you keep doing pages and then changing them. Ahead, I'm I, changing them because you want changes. That's I why I was changing. I haven't said anything. <laughs> that first Aaron, he uh, didn't catch that. He's he's done so many pages he can't remember the count. Oh, yeah, I've done more pages least, than you, Aaron. At least three. I don't, I don't think that's I've true. colored more pages than you've drawn on your book. I don't think that's true. <laughs> How that's that impossible. That's <laughs> not impossible. I just started yeah. drawing my own Kit Carter pages. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't wait. <laughs> yeah, let me do this. Let's take over a book. book. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, I'm, I'm just teasing. I, Tribe is, is was so huge for me, man. I love that book, and I, I I was really wanted to see more of it. And they're doing like putting it together as like one whole complete story, and like doing new stuff in it, and touching up recoloring re-lettering it everything super exciting man and then you know I told you my larry story he was like one of the first pros i ever met and he wasn't sitting behind the table he was like hanging out on the edge of the table just you know holding court with all of us fans just kind of like <laughs> chilling on that block you know it was great it's like everybody else was like behind the table and it was there was always this like separation and he was just hanging out with us like one of the guys so very cool. What makes me mad about Larry is that I was bugging him for the better part of a year, telling him, "Man, you should do Tribe, and you should do a collective edition, and you should have." Other... And he's like, "Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know." The whole time, that's exactly what he was doing. And he yeah, well, he didn't want... give me the four one one. I was like, "You mother." <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to that's spill it. Brother. Yeah, he's, he's like, I, I don't can't know. Trust and then, <laughs> well, I can see that. So, I mean, <clears throat> hey, hey. you could have had him live on our show. I mean, he couldn't, you know, got to be careful with you. <laughs> All right. So, well, uh, we're, we're running a little bit over here. So, uh, uh we're gonna yeah, to run for a few minutes. Okay, good. Because I, uh, not quite where I want to be yet. I'm not either. <laughs> I am so done with this. Yeah. <laughs> Different kind of done. Oh, You're yeah. just done. <laughs> we know how David feels about this artwork, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the the tribe story that's it's pretty funny to show how bad I I wanted it. Like I I had an email that was like three days old from them asking if I wanted to do it. And I proceeded to like call everybody that I could find and write emails and texts. And I was like, where are you? I was like, I was looking up uh, Larry's old email that I might've had. And <laughs> <laughs> sending out smoke signals. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, that was, that's a real important, I mean, that to me, that's like a, if any of those old guys that i Love, uh, you know, I'll make the time, I'll figure it out. Old guys, wow. Look at that. <laughs> well, I mean, like, look, I, I came in, I wasn't like an 80s uh comic guy, I was a 90s comic guy. So, like, the image and right before image, when all those guys were at, you know, uh, like I was a huge fan of Larry's X Factor run, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I thought that was just some of the most magical stuff I had ever seen up until that point, you know, and. So like any of those, it's McFarlane. I was into his Spider-Man run, and then Spawn, and then Jim Lee with X-Men, and then Wildcats, and then uh, you know Keon with Hulk, and then Pitt. All, all these guys, I was man, that was that was my jam. So like any opportunity to work with those guys, I'm all over it. You know how I got to find out who he was is that um, Jim Lee called me because we were talking comics and. He said, hey, have you seen this guy? And I was like, no. And he said, you need to go to a comic book store and get this tomorrow. You know? And I was just like, what? And I saw that. I was just like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> was, and then I had to get all of it. Huh? 
Was it Alien Legion that you first saw? No, it was that his, stuff's great. It was his X stuff, and then I went back to Alien Legion, and mm -hmm. I said, "Oh, because I was into Alien Legion when um, Frank Sirocco was doing it, and then I stopped because I was buying other stuff, and then I didn't realize." And then I came back, and I was like, oh, how did I miss this? That kind of thing. Yeah, Chuck Dixon was writing that stuff at some point. And then uh, he was Larry was being inked by uh, Mark Farmer, which was Ooh. crazy. It was great. Mm. Yeah, dude. I mean, they make a great team. All right. I'm done with this crap. I mean, this uh, piece. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm about to call it here because I'm about halfway done. So it's, I'm at least another hour from completion. And you got <laughs> to auction off Gary's book, you know? And I got to think about it, you guys. That just I'm calling it Kelsey won. Uh, I, I did? Why? Yeah. <laughs> this is not a competition. Sweet. Like, if you guys yeah. think mine's best, please say so in the chat. But it's not a competition. <laughs> Because that's what I wanted. Kelsey's doing what I wanted to do. Well, why didn't you do oh, it? I am for that now. Because I was just like, wait, I wasn't sure about the character being a um, Nintendo, so that's why I punked out. Apparently, none of us are sure about any of these characters. Yeah. So, <laughs> Except that Queen is so Queen awesome. Yeah, they seem to know. But I'm I'm gonna bid on that when you put it up. There. <laughs> I'll send it to you when I send Aaron stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My grandkids will get it in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad grandpa's not alive to see this. <laughs> Jefferson Roswell says, My eight year old daughter says David won. Well, what does she know? Yeah. Who do kids know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. David's is pretty sweet. I can't see uh, Aaron's. Is Aaron's, that Aaron's? All those sparks of red. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, you've been coloring off camera all this time, Aaron. Oh, have I? Yeah. yeah. Well, you can yeah. look at my paints, though. Oh. Yeah, we see your choices, but not how you're applying them. Well, I don't know if my choices are any good either. So. <laughs> <laughs> I find nothing offensive about these gouache paints, though. I think you kind of really okay. I was worried for nothing. Somehow I got some eraser stubble mixed in there. That didn't help. But, uh, okay. All right. Uh, I'll show you what I've got so far. I've got, like, his upper half done. So um, <clears throat> here we go. I guess I've been painting off camera. Nobody noticed. Wow. It looks, yeah, it definitely looks oh, like hey. that rat think guy. Rat Fink, yeah. yeah you see them like a like, combo. You know, like cartoons or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Let's be I like that Crash double line. Vanderbeek. The best, thing, the best thing I like about that piece, the double line on the tooth that makes it look flat. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Psycho yeah, eyes. <laughs> it is. So, so what's, the, what's the backstory with this? Well, this is Crash Vanderhoot, and he's a... Um, <laughs> It's like a what, Vanderbilt, right? Yeah, he's he's a psycho, obviously, and he's gonna go kill small children with sticks of dynamite, I guess, when they're playing <laughs> video games. Jeez. Like, you, wow. you think, no, he's like, you think I'm PlayStation, but no, I'm Nintendo, and then <laughs> him up. So. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron is not uh, bitter at all. No, I think uh, I think this is a great. That'd be yeah, awesome exactly. on the side of a hot rod or something like that. Yeah, well, yeah. That, that's kind of what yeah. I want to make him look like. So I said, that character is so close to being one of those nutty cartoons type crazy uh, characters. He just needs a little push to go from the light into the darkness. Kind of like Indiana Jones, just a little push. <laughs> him into the so he snorted all the cocaine right before he was Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a Van Halen 70s t-shirt right here. He's like, <laughs> 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 there you go. So that's where we're at. Got to get the pants done and everything. But uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, we'll get there. Uh, okay. So let's see what David uh, David did for us today. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. 
Looks yeah, good. that's great. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's squishing uh, Mario. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I did a I, fun. I did a piece with um, on Mike Miller's show long time ago, and uh, it, it was I guess it was like video game characters. So I had some chick from a video game, and Mario was she had blasted Mario, and he was laying dead, bleeding out in the back. And I got a lot of backlash for that, for killing Mario. So, <laughs> so yeah. David, Mario has black blood? Yeah. <laughs> They're not human. That's right. <laughs> he's, he's really Italian. He bleeds like dark oil. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> he's he's pretty happy shot. about uh, squishing old Mario. The, the original... It's they're much darker. All of these colors are getting blown out. I guess because of the light or something. I don't know. Who knows? No, that ain't. Me. I don't. Know. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Tracer X for two dollars says the real winners here are us watching Brohawk wins. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, what does this show become? I used to think it was just. The guys hanging out, you know, having a little bit of fun, and now it's a competition. Next thing you guys are going to want is awards every week. Jeez. Uh, okay, yeah. let's see. very nice, David. Very nice. Let's see what uh, yeah. Kelsey's done. I picked the wrong day to show up. I guess I didn't. You know, that's the winner. <laughs> that's the winner right there. I well, love it. David that's said it. The dark. I actually song love Aaron's too. Game, so. Yeah, he's all beat up. He's got his robot wow. parts coming out. Uh, Got his Muppet face going. Yeah, well, that's you know Mega Man. <laughs> his power is down to down to one dot. Uh, he's only got one dot of so, power left. Well thought out. Um, wait a minute. Uh, Driaco says Dave was the only one who followed the rules. Um, <laughs> what do you mean, Draco? Follow this. <laughs> you know. just, why is i love that every time i see it that the expression in that guy's face he looks surprised yeah it's like, <laughs> well wouldn't you be coming yeah uh you should have said follow these and then blew them up <laughs> follow <D's. laughs> everybody seems to like kelsey's i don't really understand it but there you have it, so. <laughs> because you don't have the eyes Mega Man's very popular right? <laughs> that's why right <coughs> um nobody likes crash Bandicoot. commercials of crash teasing nintendo uh well as i know dale a is that uh, crash joined nintendo so uh he may not have originated there but he ended up there or maybe he originated there and now he's somewhere else. I don't know. Yeah, it's very. Uh, there's Gordon. Or you just did it wrong. I, I'm going to vote for that one. I think maybe, Gordon uh, Goodbrother says it's be bewildering. It is indeed. We're all confused. Uh, Neil <laughs> or I'll put my 13th place illustration up on in, uh, Instagram tomorrow when I scan it at work. Okay, Neil, we will look forward to it. 13th place. He's claiming it. Uh, we'll give it to you. Um, Lucas Lopez, my distant brother, says a couple of black trees in the background of that Crash Bandicoot would have been great, though. Yeah, it would have been great if I'd finished it. Um, <laughs> you got your work cut out for you. Aaron Get probably thinks Batman is a Nintendo character. He's not. Um, I have a Batman Nintendo game. That means he is owned and operated by yeah, Nintendo. Right. Well, yeah. everybody, David, um, uh, or pardon me, uh, Dan, the pizza man, Genovese, he says, David wins by default. Again, saying that Kelsey and I are did not follow the rules. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, if we're doing best art, you two, you, uh, Aaron and Kelsey won. So. I mean, maybe, maybe they were getting real strict on it that, you know, it's, uh, what do you call it? Only properties owned by Nintendo? I don't know. Well, well, we've we've Nintendo. broken that rule a lot. Uh, well, maybe the original <laughs> Batman, David Batman. Yeah. Maybe the original <laughs> minutes of the show talking about what you can and can't draw, and then you end up just drawing whatever you want anyway. Right. <laughs> well, that's not really true because I am drawing a video game character that I was under the impression was Nintendo. <laughs> okay, that yeah, okay, that's fair enough. Um, Sif Four says you did great, Aaron, for third place. Um, <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> that. 
Appreciate it. Uh, Queen, Queen Mickey says Batman is manga. I see. There's just a lot of confusion in the chat. Um, Wizard Sleeves, there he goes, says they all end up on Nintendo anyway. So there you go. Uh, yeah. Easily can be confused that way. See. Um, all right. So, you guys, before we take off here, we want Gary to, uh, he's going to put up his inking book. The only one he has left in mint condition. So, uh, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to bid this for, uh, let's say, like five minutes. And, uh, yeah, five minutes. Is, yeah. And uh, whoever bids the most gets the book. Gary, I'm sure, will sign it or some such nonsense. Sure. Yep. So, um, shipping is how much do we want to add? Um, 10 bucks. Okay. $10 shipping. So whatever you're bidding, we want $10 shipping as well. Uh, well I'm going to go ahead and the, make the campaign. Let me do the backstory. Um, I had these up for my art book campaign and they sold out right away. And so I shipped all those out and I found that I had one copy left over. Uh, this is mint condition. Um, it has the blue line boards in the back. All of them. I inked all mine. <laughs> um, the collection is what this is of all the previous material plus some new stuff. It has a chapter on digital inking, so it's it's the latest version of it. The campaign price was uh, eighty dollars, and so that's what we're going to start the bidding with. Is is eighty. So right. if anybody yeah, wants it, least. I think 80 will probably take it. I don't know how many people still want them. But there it is. The art of comic book inking. Who's going to jump in? Captain Bitbo says, I'm out. Uh, we had a couple of $1. There you go. Birdman Burr, $80 confirmed. There it is. There so you, go. Wow. Are, you guys, you, go. you guys type in whatever dollar amount you're bidding and then put confirmed behind it so that we know that it's a real bid. Uh, Hidden Hand Media says, I'll go 85. 85. So like I say, this is the last copy that I have, mint condition. Um, they're re very rare. I mean, if you look on Amazon, they're going for like hundreds of dollars. So and, I, and I will I will personalize a signature to whoever is the, the winner. We have 85. Do we have 2,000? We, <laughs> we have 95 confirmed by oh. Birdman Burr. There you go. There's drawings, there's uh, drawings, and there's some more drawings in there actually too, if you keep turning the pages. It's full of drawing. <laughs> yeah, and this is, uh, this is inked by several different top amazing inkers, including uh, Dave Stevens, right? Yeah, Dave Stevens, let me find Dave it. Dave Stevens in there, there's uh, uh, Bill Stout, yeah, uh, there's Scott Williams, there's, give us a list, Gary. I mean, Scott Williams, Inc. in the Brent dude. Brent Anderson, oh, let's start out with Steve Root, Brent Anderson, Terry Austin, Michael Bear, Hilary Barda, John Beatty, Brian Bolin, John Basima, Terry Dodson, Rachel Dodson. Dude. You got Buscema Brand, in there? Buscema's oh, yeah. in there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Randy Eberlin, Mark Farmer, Alex Garner, Al Gordon, Randy Green, Gil oh, Kane, boy. Carl Kiesel, what? Jack Kirby, Steve Leoleha, Danny Mickey, Rudy Nebris, oh. Kevin Nolan, Danny Mickey. Jerry Ordway, Tom Palmer, Bill Reinhold, Mike Royer, Joe Rubenstein, P. Craig Russell, Mark Schultz, Dave Stevens, Carl Story, William Stout, Mark Schultz, yeah. Adam Warren, and the Scott Williams. That's so wild. There you go. Loaded with talent in there. And uh, everybody comments on their what their approach, right? So they Yes. You get your so eight page by them and they talk about it. Yeah. So right. So like Mike Royer inks uh, um, uh, Brent Anderson in this case, and then he talks about what he's done, his tools he used, his approach, you know, this kind of it. Wow. So all those artists are, are pretty much doing the same thing. Here's I, immediate, I oh, immediately... I immediately... Uh, Randy Green. Oh, sorry, Kelsey. I immediately went to uh, Mark Schultz because I, I was so yeah, yeah, fascinated yeah. by how the hell that guy did some of the stuff he did. Let's see. Which is crazy. If I can find some of those. Um, Steve Root did some like layout type stuff. Let's see if I find the pencils. Like, 
he calls yeah, I, he, I said layouts, but this is basically no rendering in blacks, but it's pretty tight. And, oh, I love and that this stuff. page yeah. was inked by uh, Brian Bullard, Rudy Nebris, Kevin Nolan, Jerry Ordway, Steve Rude, Mark Schultz, and Dave Stevens. And that's, Steve, that's to illustrate like the finishing, uh, the finishers, right? Yeah. And here's <laughs> uh, Kelsey, here's Mark Schultz's uh, rendition yeah. inking over um, Steve Root. I love and it. This, <laughs> this, is a, this is a picnic scene, right? Yeah. And so I asked Steve what he thought of uh, Mark's inking on it. And his <laughs> comment was, who the hell has a picnic at night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pro appropriate. Yeah, that sounds um, like the dude. There you go. I was going to say, Hidden Hand Media bid 96 bucks. We got to keep the bids at least $5 increments if you guys don't yeah, mind. Hand, yeah, up to, so I Maybe. think you should. This could go on for a while. Why don't you start counting it down? Well, we'll give him another minute here. Okay. Um, so Hidden Hand Media is number one right now at $100 confirmed. We we'll start the countdown here in a minute, and um, here's the Steve Rude Blue Line uh, Nexus page, eleven by seventeen. All the uh, Blue Line artboards are perforated, so you can tear them out and practice. And, I inked uh, mine. I need to pull mine out. Sure. They're all eleven by seventeen. Uh, the wow. paper bleeds just a little bit, but not bad, actually. If they, unless that, that's a different version, though, than the one I had. I had the first version. Birdman Burr, 110 confirmed. Uh, while we're wrapping this up, you guys, we have over 500 people watching right now. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe, please do that. It helps the channel grow, and we appreciate your participation. Terry Dotson? Wait a minute. Oh, nice. these, wait, but these weren't originally in the, the original version. No. These were added. Yeah, so each, this has got quite a bit of extra stuff in it. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Happy it has a lot. Here's uh, Randy Green. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. Ooh. Oh, we were talking about uh, Adam Warren. Oh, you got a page for Adam oh. too? What yeah, Adam Warren Ghost. Look, look at this. Man. Isn't that awesome? Hey, you added a lot to this. I, yeah, yeah, I don't remember any of that from the first time. Check out that leather jacket. I want to see. I want to see the Busema page. I'm interested. Yeah. All right. Let me find. It. Was he in the first one or no? No, no, he wasn't. Oh, okay. I should have waited when I got mine. <laughs> Gil Kane Conan. Wait, where did you get these? Oh, dang, dude. He's uh, got his ways. Um, Chris oh. Warner. I'm gonna bid on this book. Here's the uh, Busema Conan. Oh man. Uh, Danny Mickey inked this. Oh man, dude! What does it look like? What does it look like? Show us, show us. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Danny Mickey inking that. 115 confirmed by Hidden Hand Media. Birdman Bird and Hidden Hand Media are going crazy for this. Yeah, Mickey. Oh man, oh, isn't that gosh. cool? Yes. Oh, it almost doesn't look like him. He's like doing like, a brushy kind of. Oh, except that table. He was trying to he was trying to uh, stay true to Busema. Yeah, but it's, it's still really you know um, kind of uh, image image esque. All right, we're going to start the countdown, folks. We're at 115. Hidden Hand Media is the lead bidder right now. So there we go. How about a, a Jack Kirby Conan? What? Oh, when did oh, he man. do that? I remember that. Is there really? a date? Seventy nine. I don't remember ever drawing a Conan. That's awesome. Birdman yeah, well, goes to 120, and we go to nine on the countdown. Who's the guy that used to take Marvel art? And he's like, oh, you caught me, buddy, or whatever. Gil, Gil King. King. Yeah. yeah, that's how he got all this artwork. He knew Gil <laughs> King. <laughs> Bill, we're just, uh, Bill, we're just auctioning off this book that Gary had an extra one of. That's all. This is uh, my, my inking the Kirby Conan piece. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, crazy. Hidden hands going 125. And I'm I got I forgot we're in the middle of a countdown here. I keep looking at the art. Uh we're down to eight. Uh beard man says 135. Let's 
seven. It's giving me a chance to ruin my piece. Well, that's what we like to see. It's an expectation. Light it on fire now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Six. It's my now, so stop. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Steve Root inking himself. I love that. I like Steve inking himself. He's got yeah, kind of a chunky thing. quality to his stuff. Come on. Nexus would not be fighting some guy at night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Headless Bourgeoisie says that 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 Kirby, I assume, is he talking about? That was the cover of a king size Conan annual. Oh, okay. Was it? Hidden hand. One forty confirmed. Oh, check this out. Check this out. Terry Austin inking, rude. Oh. Oh. Kind of hard to mean, tell on the screen, but I, I mean, would not have zoom zoom known that was Austin. Isn't that cool? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's very reserved. Very well, it's like they're they're respectful of the pencils, which I think is yeah. cool. Birdman says 150. There's stout thinking, uh, rude. Oh, yeah, that doesn't even look like stout. Everybody's being very respectful of the dude, I think. Yeah. <laughs> We're down to three. Birdman, bird 150. I know this is the slowest countdown ever, but I keep looking at the work. The work. Uh, here we go. Two. Where were we? Ten? Ten. I reprint this uh, Robbie the Robot. He's in my uh, new uh, art book. Hidden Hand Media. That's 155 confirmed. We're down to one. I'm not oh, starting over. It's getting, getting crazy. So I will go to zero, and then we're going to do sold. There's a cross hatching thing. That's Burn Hogarth, right? Yeah. Yeah. 160 confirmed. Here's your last chance to get in there at zero. I'm going to write in sold. This is give tough. You guys a... Oh, man, what a fight. Um, and I was just trying to give everybody a chance. I know there's delay. So it's zero and sold for 160 to bird man oh hidden hand media came in too late oh sorry about that uh i'll dig mine up i'll sell you mine for uh, what <laughs> 500 bucks <laughs> all right so gary how do they uh get in touch with you um you can uh, send money through PayPal with with uh, my email. My business email is inkart at earthlink.net. Inkart at earthlink.net. Earthlink Excuse me. Okay, he says I have your info already, Gary. Okay, yeah, so Birdman is, is a past uh, client. Um, and Wait a minute. Uh, please make sure to include your address and kick in a few bucks for um, shipping. I think 10, 10 would do. It. It's a heavy book. Hidden Hand Media says, my comment is before sold, but it isn't. It, it's when it comes up on the screen and you were like uh, two entries below sold. He really wants this. Well, I think he can work out a deal with uh, <laughs> Birdman Burr. Um, you owe Gary five dollars, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I warned you guys. I told you there was like ten seconds in between each count. So there you go. Um, case fight, cage fight to the death. Um, well, it's getting hot in here now. Yeah, we'll settle this in Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> all right hey everybody that's gonna wrap it up on uh, gray beards for this week uh sorry if there was controversy on the bidding there always is um i see david removed his monkey uh, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> did you say about my monkey yeah <laughs> hidden hand i may have a beat up copy with like torn parts on the cover and but the inter in interiors intact 
Um, if you get a hold of me, I can confirm that or not, and we can work something out. But it's, it's something that I wouldn't sell because the, the cover is, you know, pretty crummy. So there you go. There, there could be, if you're not, you know, totally into it being in mint condition and whatever, uh, but still has all the guts in it, there, that might be an option for you. Uh, again, sorry for the controversy. I'm not doing an auction ever again. I always get in trouble. Um, all right, everybody. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. This was great fun, as it usually is. Uh, you've been watching Gray Beard's Studio. Join us next week. We may have a, a guest next week as well. We're working on that. So, oh, so uh, I could take off then? Okay, no, great. That, that's not, that's not oh. how it works. You have oh. to show up. Oh. Um, but we appreciate all the super chats. We appreciate you guys participating in the comments. We could not do this show without you guys. So we do greatly appreciate your watching. And yeah, uh, yeah thanks for Birdman and, and Hidden Hand uh, bidding. I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you, guys. Uh, take care. Be safe the rest of this week. And we will. Well, you're not going to pour that on there, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to pour chocolate on there and light it on fire. <laughs> Next time, next time. <laughs> Excuse me, next time. So anyway, you guys, we'll see you next time right here on Gray Beard Studio. Good night, everybody. <laughs>